Hello everyone, welcome back. Hold on, let me just get, I'm gonna open a second OBS so I can record this, I think. Cause I might end up posting it on YouTube. You never know. <laughs> I have like four or five builds that I need to post on YouTube still, but it's good to just record them just in case, you know? Anyway, hi everyone, welcome back. We're gonna play some Sims, happy Monday. Sorry I didn't remember the weekend, I was, um. Well, I went to Disney with my parents on Saturday, and then yesterday I hung out with Miv. So I was very busy. Miv had to come see the kittens, obviously. So I had bigger plans. <laughs> I couldn't stream over the weekend. <laughs> but it was fun. I think it's it's um exciting for like a friend to meet the kittens, I think. I don't know. It's just um I enjoyed that, so. <laughs> anyway, boo pillow, yeah, I put my boo pillow up. Um, it's officially Halloween, and I'll make the rules. So. It's our Taylor anniversary, says Kat, with the 13 month reset. Did someone say Taylor Swift? I believe you did. Well, I'm dressed for the occasion. <laughs> Get it? Karma is a cat, haha. -ha. I like this. I think this is cute. Thank you, Taylor Swift. I mean, she didn't give it to me. I bought it. But I like it. <laughs> We're apparently football fans now. I guess. Us Swifties. I mean, if Taylor Swift says we like sports, then we like sports, I guess. Is that how it works? <laughs> Anyway, hi everyone. <laughs> Nelly, Jen, uh, Aira, and Anna, and Caitlin, and Chips, and Coolish, and Sphinx, and Strawberry. Uh, we got more, and Bree, and Brina, and Glide. Uh, we got Sir, and Starburst, and Maddie, uh, Rare, and J4, and Genie, and Bull, and Dolly. Thank you all for the subs, everybody. Izzy, too, random. Your kittens are four and a half months old. I love cats. She builds houses <laughs> with the 12 months. Mari, Rat, um, Nighting, and Spark. Thank you all for the subs, everybody. Sleeping too with a sub gift, thank you so much. Well, we started working on this um, on Friday, so I wanted to finish it today. That was our first step. <laughs> As a non-American, you now know one American football player. <laughs> you know what? I actually knew about Travis Kelsey before this all started happening because him and his brother, oh, oh dear. Okay, that can't be good. Um, I knew about it because him and his brother played against each other in the Super Bowl. And I, I saw all these TikToks about them and their mom. And I was like, that's so cute that they're like playing against each other in the Super Bowl. So I knew two football players going up until this week and he was one of them. So. <laughs> Serena, thank you for the prime sub. t -Bill, and yet to be inspired in May. And Patricia and Simran and Potato and Anna, Agatha. Um, we got, did you just hear a beep? Did that play in my ears or you? Okay, what do you think that was? Your, your game does that? My game has never done that. Sounded like a microwave or something. So you're saying your game does that? What the heck? It's the coffee machine? Oh, maybe that's why my game never does it because I never put coffee machines in my builds. So maybe that's why. I, I haven't heard it because I never use them. Because <laughs> I don't like them. Oh, maybe that's what it is then. That's really weird. That scared me. I was like, what's happening? Is, is it like my PC? Did something break? <laughs> I've never heard that. That's so weird. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> at least I didn't imagine it because I thought for a second it was just me. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Mystical. An old average Krista, Mayor, uh, Aaron, Lily, Katrina, Jetster, Lady Mo, and Nana, and Liv, and Baby K, and Ben, and Tortilla Chip, Alyssa, Serena. Thank you all for the subs. I, I think I lost. My, I don't, I think I might have missed some there because I got so distracted by the thing beeping at me. <laughs> that scared me. I'm sorry if I missed your sub. Can we blame the in-game coffee pot for that? <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, well, we'll, we'll catch you up to speed and then we'll finish the build, I think, is the plan. Um, 
So on Friday night, we started working on this build. I was renovating the roomies house. You might recognize this lot and these Sims um, in Willow Creek. Oh, hold on. I'll feed you guys. I'm sorry. I'm real sorry. Hold on. You're all struggling. What did he, do you think he's poorly decorated? Oh, don't even start with me, Mitchell. I... You're in a fully finished dining room. What are you talking about poorly decorated? I hope you die, Mitchell. Oh my god, he kind of matches the house. <laughs> Is it sure? That's funny. Anyway, um, well that's rude. That's really rude. It's okay, it's fine. I thought it looked nice, but whatever. Um, so we started renovating their house. We did like pretty much everything except for the bedroom. So we have to do the bedrooms first and then um, we'll move on. I'm sorry I said he hope he dies. That was like really aggressive of me and it was not, it was uncalled for. So I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me just then. I, I just, I had this like deep moment of rage and I didn't really mean to. But then, you know, <laughs> it happened anyway, so. <laughs> Talix, Krista, Anna, Weenus, uh, Moonfall, Sour, Yuka, Kimmy, Anold, Mystical, Average, and Krista, and, and Tanya, thank you all for the subs. Oh my goodness. Okay, am I planning to do another shell challenge? Yeah, Nicoletta, we do shell challenges about once a month. And we just did shell tours like two weeks ago. So I think we'll probably space out the shell Again, we'll maybe do one in a couple weeks. We usually do them about once a month, though. Um, what what ends up happening is I'll build it, and then we'll have, like, two weeks of build time. And then we'll do the tours, and then I try and space them out a little bit, you know, from there. Because otherwise there's, like, always a shell challenge going on, and that's just too much for me. So, <laughs> uh, we try and space it out, basically. <laughs> uh, Princess, Crunkles, Riven, thank you for the subs. Okay, I do have a few small cat updates for you that I would like to show you. So if you would just give me one second, because I want to send them to Dan on Discord so that you can see um, all of these important things that are going on. Um, oh my god, the number of pictures of cats I have on my phone is unbelievable. Okay, so here's the pictures of my kittens for today's cat update. Um, they're still sending. Here we go. Okay, step one. This is from yesterday. I put it on my Instagram story, so you might have seen it already. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll show you now. Um, this one makes me so happy. <laughs> Look at this. So this is a picture. It looks like I put the blanket on him. I didn't. The blanket, he was under it and then was coming out of the blanket. And I just thought this was the cutest thing in the entire world. That shrimp. Um, he looks like he's wearing a cape. It's so adorable. It's just so adorable. <laughs> um, so there's little shrimpy. Um, I have a picture from this morning of Sunny. Here's a large amount of teeth, as you can see. Um, yeah. <laughs> she has no face, only teeth. I always describe this picture as being like a monster, because she has no face and just a big scary mouth. As some might say, the void is screaming back. All right, here's a good one too. Um, this is the kittens asleep together in their cat tree. They do this a lot. It's really adorable. Here's another one. Um, this one's from earlier. <laughs> other one was from yesterday. But they cuddle at top of the cat tree. And when I think about them getting too big for this, it makes me want to cry. Because this is the cutest thing in the entire world, them cuddling together. Oh, so I thought you would like that. Um, and then I have one final update for you. Here's a picture of Dan holding them this morning. Look at how much bigger he is than her. Obviously, she's a bit more scrunched than him, but still, you can really see a size difference between Shrimp and Sunny in this picture. Isn't that unbelievable? So, who scratches my armchair? Oh, all of them, <laughs> snap included. There's like kind of, you can see, not from here, but like that side of the armchair um, has some strings because all three cats like to mess with it, so. Such enormous paws. I know, it, they're huge, they're huge. Um, let me see, do I have anything else I wanted to show you? Oh, here's pictures from today too. This one, um, that's Sunny in her box and shrimp on his blanket, that was earlier today. I mean, there's no cat here. This is an empty blanket with nothing on it. It's just a blanket. Nothing else, just a blanket on the floor. <laughs> but it has eyes, so weird, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like a blanket with some googly eyes. They're so funny. I was describing this the other day. I called them cat traps, okay? Which is my, my word for when I buy a thing hoping the cat will like it. For example, I bought this chair hoping that Snap would like it, and she does. It's a cat trap. She uses it. She sits there, and then I can film her. That blanket I put on the floor specifically in hopes that a cat would sit on it, and it worked very well. <laughs> Same thing with the with the basket. That was exactly what I wanted. My dream scenario was for Sunny or one of them to want to sit in this basket, and it works. And she's exactly basket sized. So, very cute, very cute. Um, people ask me a lot how it's going with Snap. Um, she is. They're not friends, okay? It sometimes can take many months for cats to accept other cats. They're very territorial. The kittens don't care about her. She doesn't want them near her. Um, which I get. I get. I understand. I understand where you're coming from, Snap. They're like sewer rats. Like, I get it. Um, but yeah, Snap is, uh, she has her moments. Like, sometimes she'll run away from them and hide in my bedroom because they're not allowed in there. Other times, she'll jump on the chair and watch them play. So, I don't know. She, she like I said, she really has her moments. They're not friends, <laughs> but we're getting better by the day. Every day, we get a little better. She still hisses at them, but we're getting a little better. I'm trying to see if I've got, I've taken some pictures of them in the same image, but I should be careful because I don't want you to see my front door. I'm looking at my phone right now, and a lot of the pictures have, like, either the reflection of the front door or the front door in general in it. I think this one should be fine. Hold on. This is just a picture of Snap. <laughs> but, um, she's, she's sitting there, and you can't really tell, but in this image, she's just sitting there staring at them. She's on the chair, and they were, like, kind of in the kitchen, and she was just sat there watching them. Not hissing, though! So, you can kind of see her bald spot here, but not that well. Her back is still shaved from when she had the thing removed. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that's her just watching. But anyway, this part, it looks a little bit weird because she's got a bald spot here. You just can't see it that well. Anyway, not hissing is progress. She does hiss. Every day she hisses. Some more than others. But at this point, she wasn't hissing. She was just watching. I do have, um, I do have some, I don't know if I should show them, but I have an update from my sister about Frankie and, and Sam as well, the other, the mom and the other baby. Um, my parents' cat, Lemon, is handling this a lot better than Snap is. It makes Snap look bad. Um, Shanna was playing with them all together today. She was, like, throwing a toy, because Lemon kind of plays fetch. So she was throwing a toy, and, like, Sam and Lemon were both chasing it. And then, like, Sam, Lemon brings it back, Sam doesn't. <laughs> but they were both chasing it together. No, like, hissing. He does hiss, but he wasn't today. He's younger, though. Lemon's, like, five, and Snap is old and grouchy, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm really glad, though, without being too morbid, I'm really glad because poor Lemon, um, my parents' other cat passed away last week, um, and I've been worried about poor Lemon because that was, like, his best friend his only friend. So I was like, I, it's been a, a great source of pain for me thinking about him being alone. And so him already playing with Sam this week is like making me, it makes my heart swell. Cause I'm like, so glad. I hope that they can adjust very quickly and be friends and play together and stuff. Cause I'm worried about him, you know? Um, but anyway, that's my, those are my cat updates from the day. <laughs> those are all my cat updates. So <laughs> yeah, I think it makes sense Lemon adjusted better because he's used to more animals. Like, Snap grew up in a house with animals, but she hasn't been around other animals. She's been an only child for a few years, so um, it makes more sense that she's, like, struggling a bit more with it. So, anyway, she'll get there. She just needs time. <laughs> um, Laya, Rebecca, Raspberry, Papaya, and Steph. Uh, we got Bebo and Huffle and Anna and Bex and Call Me Sarah and Em and Jesse and Say and T-Dak and Joke and Charlie and Pet and Kaylee and Jasper and Sierra and Is and Down and Witching. Thank you all so much, you guys. I really appreciate that. Um, you wrote on your schedule about a base game update. Do I have any information about it? Okay, let's, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> um, there's no confirmation. All right. 
So there's a stuff pack coming out on Thursday, okay? There has to be an update before a stuff pack comes out. That's just how it works. Like there has to be an update before any pack comes out, any kit, any stuff pack, any expansion pack. Um, that's just how it works. There has to be an update pre-pack release. So typically every time there's a pack, the pack comes out on Thursday, there's an update on Tuesday. So the assumption being made is that there's gonna be an update tomorrow. Um, the scale of this update to be determined. Um, we know a couple things for sure though. We know that they're gonna be making it so that you can bake cupcakes in the oven and not just in the cupcake machine. Um, and they're also maybe gonna be updating the cooking UI. But aside from that, we don't know what else there's gonna be. So um, we shall see, we shall see. Um, but we, we, I would feel like it's a pretty safe bet that there's gonna be an update tomorrow. So anyway. Um, they have never said that. They never say that. They never announce a specific day or time. They never say what time it'll be at all or when because they, I think, are trying to leave room for adjustments. What ends up happening is that it will be at 1 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. It always is. <laughs> always 1 p.m. Eastern time on a Tuesday before a pack comes out. Like, without fail for, like, eight years now. It's been like that. But they won't ever say that because what if they have to push it for something, you know? Um, but we, we can only assume based on <laughs> many past experiences that there will be an update tomorrow. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Pessy and Pixie and Street and Annals and Fairy and Zoe and Jem. Thank you for the subs. Okay. Also, hi, Shanna. I saw you come in. What's the item in the corner holding the vase? Oh, this is in the, it's like a, a decorative, the whole thing's an item. It's from Get Famous. It like the whole thing is connected, so. Cool. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to, you'll probably have to um, update your mods and stuff with it tomorrow. I don't know how bad it'll break anything. I know there's some concern, um, specifically with like this pack and the food stuff. If you have any like food mods, like, um, you know, Ice Mun Mun makes a bunch of custom recipes and stuff. Uh, I know there's some concern about what's gonna happen to them when this update comes out because it sounds like this pack is going to sort of really change cooking um, and the update's gonna have like a slight base game overhaul to cooking to some degree. So I like things like that is what I would be worried about with, with the update, it might break those things. So just in general, until there's an update, you wanna like disable mods and then check on the mod or social media. They'll say if their mod is broken and then you might have to delete it and re-download it. Things like UI cheats break pretty much every time. So like they're gonna change the cooking UI tomorrow probably. So anytime they're adjusting the UI, a UI mod is probably gonna break. So just keep that in mind that this is just how it works. <laughs> anytime they change the slightest thing and if that slightest thing is what the mod is relying on, then the mod breaks and they have to fix it. Usually modders are pretty fixed about <laughs> Pretty fix about quicking it, I was gonna say. <laughs> Pretty quick about fixing it. It depends what happened though, um, and what broke, but usually they can be pretty quick about it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, what do you do if a mod breaks? Like, how do you take it out? Well, you just take it out of your mods folder. So like, the same place that you downloaded it into, you would just delete it and then re-download it when the update comes out. When, when like the mods update comes out, you would just replace the file with like some fresh ones. Basically, that's how it works. <laughs> Gorgeous, Amy, Gina, Fish Tank, Sammy, Wireless Pickle, thank you for the subs. Okay, let us begin. So we were gonna start furnishing these bedrooms. That was the plan. I think I might do Zoe Patel's first. Which room do you think Zoe should have? Maybe Zoe can have this one. I think I like this one best. No, this one's closest to a bathroom, but it's smaller. Let's think, okay? So Zoe wants to be a friend of the world. She's a goofball, clumsy, and cheerful. Um, she doesn't have a job. <laughs> um, she has a little bit of comedy and charisma and stuff. Um, so, I don't know. We'll make it kind of yellow and pink in there. Her roommates, Mitchell's outgoing, a bro, and lazy. He wants to be a joke star. He's a chef. Obviously, Jay Huntington is a tech guru. He wants to be a gym bro. Um, he's active, non-committal, and a bro. And then Gavin uh, likes to write, and he's in the writing career. So most of them need desks and stuff. 
We'll have to keep that in mind. I think I want her to have this one though, because then it's closest to a bathroom. I like Zoe best, so she deserves the best room. <laughs> Marat and Annald and Emily, enthusiastic. Thank you for the subs. Okay. No, the other one. Wait, which one? Give Mitchell the worst room. Okay, Mitchell can have this one because it's the smallest with only the least amount of windows. They have mostly the same amount of windows, but that's okay. That's okay. I think Zoe gets this one though. I know one of them has more windows, but I like this one best, so. Okay, I'm looking at pink and yellow for this. I wanna base it off of what her outfits look like a little bit. <laughs> Why does everyone hate Mitchell? Oh, well, I hate Mitchell because earlier today when I first went live, um, Mitchell said that my house was poorly decorated. He's uncomfortable because it's poorly decorated. So I am currently uh, in my anti-Mitchell era, but that's just because he was mean to me a second ago. <laughs> There's no other reason. It's, it's purely because he was mean to me a second ago. <laughs> Zoe Patel, I don't like any of these. Hmm. Trying to decide. What do you guys think about this one maybe for her? I like how it has some color to it, but also this one is just beautiful. Maybe I'll keep them both for a second and I can look at rugs. She needs pink and yellow. That's pink and blue. She likes florals. We know because she has a floral print dress. <laughs> for the love of turtles, thank you for the resub. Jess with the bits and Jenna and Shara and Dragon and Leo, thank you for the subs. Oh my, the high school year's flower bed? Oh, that's an idea too. Hmm, let me look at that quickly. Let's see, packs. High school years. I'm probably gonna think about this a little bit too much. This one has like, oh, that is kind of cute. It adds some additional color scheme into it. Give Jay the worst room, Mitchell just expressed his opinion. <laughs> Mitchell just expressed his opinion. His opinion about how my house is ugly. What do you think about these together? I don't know. Anil, thank you for the thousand bits. Uh, it's suspicious last year before your vacation to France. That's so fun, have the best time. That's so cool. I'm excited for you. Colors, yellow, okay. I don't know about this, Zoe. We'll have to see if we can make it work for you. I'd like to try. If we can really emphasize the pink and the yellow, that's sort of the goal. Just difficult because so much of this has like so many patterns. Why doesn't this come in a nice light pink? Why does nothing come in a nice light pink in this game? There's never any light pink. <sighs> oh well. Oh well. How about this? No, 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 no. So I think I could raise, like, size these up and combine them like a circle. No, there actually is a circle rug, isn't there? Oh, what about, wait. Oh! Oh, maybe Zoe could have this. Maybe, okay. That might be good for her. Okay. I got there. I got there. Sorry, everyone, for the dramatics. <laughs> um, we want sort of a combination of pink and yellow. Oh, no. So this is why, because you see what she wears. I'm kind of trying to base it off of that. But I 
think a lot of yellow is probably the best bet for this. Maybe I can put that over there. Does she also have the poorly decorated moodlet? You know what? If Zoe Patel is bullying me, I don't even want to know about it. I, I simply can't deal with this. That's so rude. <laughs> Ugly British is he? And Pod, amazing. And French, thank you for the subs. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, this might be cute. That has like some pink and yellow happening on it. Okay. You think furniture with Furniture from the pastel pop kit. Yeah, that's kind of some of the stuff that I was thinking about using too. We have the pastel pop rug already. Maybe she can have a bookshelf. Oh, this little painting will be nice too. Oh, I don't really know where to put it. <laughs> okay, maybe she can have this. Oh dear. Maybe we should have done a yellow rug. And then we can have pink accents elsewhere. Guys, I don't really know what I'm doing right now. This is harder than it seems. I think the yellow rug is nice. I also think that bookshelf is like really nice too. Should she have like... Um, I don't want to give her a chair because we already have a couch. So like, isn't a chair too much? Maybe she could have a desk. Or what if we tried to make a fake vanity? And we kind of decorated this as though it were a vanity, even if it's not actually one. Because I could put the little mirror thing on it. I do this sometimes. It's all pretend, but it's cute. <laughs> it's from the Everyday Clutter Kit, right? Oh my god, it's lagging. Stop. <gasps> oh no. Okay, don't touch anything. Oh, so scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> okay it's fine it's fine we fixed it it's fine yeah so the reason i'm not going to use a real vanity you guys is because they don't come in as like funky of color schemes and patterns obviously a real vanity would be nice too but i kind of like the vibes of this without a real vanity you know you just made me save? Good, <laughs> you probably should. I, I think we should all save quickly. If you happen to be in the game right now, maybe maybe we should all save. If you are in, just, just real quick, press a little save button, right? It won't hurt. <laughs> you probably should. We should all make a habit of doing that. <laughs> but you're in cast, uh-oh. Maybe, you know, maybe just do it anyway. Go out of cast and save and then come back. <laughs> Scarlet Terry Philip, thank you for the subs. You, it's the worst. If your game crashes and create a sim, oh, that's just, that's too much. I would probably cry. Anytime the game crashes when you can't save, cursed, completely cursed. What sort of wallpaper do you guys think we should use? I'm wondering about... No, that's not, like, fancy enough. Or maybe it's too fancy. Something about it is wrong. I guess if we just had, like, some sort of accent wall, that would be okay. I don't want to use a lot of blue. I want to focus everything pretty much on the pink and yellow because that's like her main vibes. I know obviously we have blue, but. I 
I don't know. I don't know. I guess that does kind of bring it all together a little bit. The blue is very clashy though. I don't think it clashes. <laughs> I think it's like a fun accent. I don't know if I like this wall color. Everyone's gonna be mad when I delete it, but I don't think I like it. And I didn't like the paranormal pack one either. It's very light colored. Okay. Um, I don't know. Paranormal teal wallpaper? I don't know, you guys, I'm really trying to embrace her weird obsession with yellow and pink. I think. I'm kind of trying to... Even if you think it looks bad. <laughs> we have to keep in mind that we're, we're like decorating this specifically for Zoe Patel. And look what she wears. Do you think her outfit looks good? No. None of it matches. <laughs> so... <laughs> Casey, Lady Scarlet, thank you for the subs. Oh. Okay, um... I don't know what I want. You think a darker pink, maybe? I guess we could try something like that. Everything about it is bad. Brighter carpet. Yeah, I don't really know if there is a brighter. You guys, we kind of tried carpets first. <laughs> I don't really know if there is a brighter one that I don't hate. Like, the options. This, genuinely horrifying to me. That's no good. Bad vibes. Bad, bad, bad vibes. What am I going to do? That? No. Horrible. Like, the, the yellow, brighter carpet options that you're suggesting that we switch to, sort of non-existent. <laughs> Okay, I kind of like it. I understand that you don't, but I, I kind of like it. So maybe we could stick to this for now. Um, that's horrible. I guess we could do a light pink on the walls. I need something behind the bed though. Maybe something kind of... It's hard because of the headboard situation. I only have the one nightstand because this was kind of close to the... Hmm. I wonder if we got a different sort of thing on these nightstands. And then we got something behind the bed. Tapestry? Oh, maybe a high school year's tapestry could be good. High school years, high school years. Maybe like, this is the one that has sort of bigger looking swatches. No. See, like, that's kind of nice, but it doesn't really match. What if we did string lights? Because string lights might be a simple... They could be yellow, too. Is that weird, going all the way across the back wall? I just am struggling with this because I don't really know what Zoe would have. Like, I sort of have this idea in my head that I don't think she would have a lot of posters. So I don't really want to use a lot of posters, but then like, I don't know. Heart Polaroids, that's an idea. We can look at some of those things too. I don't like the blue. I think 
like... No, 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 no. Getting lamps is so hard. How are you even supposed to do that? Those look so weird. Hmm. I guess we don't have to have the same thing on both nightstands. We also, oh, let me grab it really quickly. We were talking about adding in this photo of them as children into every single one of the, their rooms. Like I was gonna make them all have it. Oh, colors are bad. I don't want the green. Never mind. She can't have it. Yikes. I think I'm thinking about this too much. <laughs> I think I'm overthinking, which I know, shocking, right? Me overthinking? Never. What problem do you have with lime? I just didn't think it matched, Hope. I don't know. Is that bad? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys are all saying, I know you mean well, <laughs> but this like, change the rug, try darker wallpaper. Everyone's saying the same things over and over again. Well, well-intentioned. Um, we kind of already did. <laughs> and then like, there's, we, I don't know, we've sort of exhausted our options. Like we did that and then we couldn't find one. So just so you know, I'm not ignoring you. I just like, we kind of already looked at those things and discovered that it wasn't working. <laughs> I think that a pink accent wall is kind of cute. Um, I like the pink on pink, even if you don't, I don't really care. I'm not going to change it now, okay? Love you, but at a certain point, we have to make a decision. <laughs> okay, tiny living, let's see. Um, that has a little bit of the, the blue that you all so desire. Maybe that could be good. I don't want to put it behind the bed. The bed frame is too tall. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit. I think I like it. I think it's recognizable as Zoe Patel's room too. Okay. Let's do Mitchell's room next. You're gonna give him the worst room because he thinks that my house is poorly decorated. Um, Mitchell is outgoing, a bro, and lazy. He wants to be a joke star and he's in the cooking career. So, he also wears like the same colors the house is with this like teal and orange. Okay. Aren't there some pastel flower wall decals you could put? Maybe, I don't wanna think about Zoe's room anymore, you guys. <laughs> maybe we can come back to it, but I'm starting to get a little bit overwhelmed. So I'm gonna switch rooms and maybe we can come back to it, okay? <laughs> maybe we can come back to it. I'm just feeling a little, um, ah, right now. What if we did kind of a funky wallpaper like this? I don't know. Maybe we can try and make a cool, sort of different vibe. What color do the other Sims like? I guess you're more in green than the others. Maybe I can give you like a more formal room. I don't know. He likes ambitionless Sims. You think his room would be kind of messy? Yeah, I kind of think his room would be a little messy too. Maybe we can try and go for something like that. Mitchell gives you tropical beach bro vibes. Oh, really? That is fascinating. I don't know if I would have had that. I don't know if I would have thought that. You know what vibes he has to me? He kind of has like this bed's vibes to me. Or maybe this is good for, um, what's his face? Why do I keep forgetting? 
Gavin. I remember before I clicked on it. Maybe Gavin could have this bed. Because then Gavin could have, like, this bed and, like, a fancy desk. I think I'm okay with that. This kind of seems Gavin to me. Okay, and Gavin's gonna be a writer. So we're doing Gavin's room first, actually. <laughs> Lacey KK, Tilly, thank you for the fits. Tilly, what did you do? Did you spill something again? I mean, probably. Tea this time? Oh my. You're on a roll. <laughs> Penny, uh, Aaron and Aaron both just subscribed. Thank you both to the Aarons. Um, that's amazing. I'm sorry you spilled your tea, Tilly. That honestly is heartbreaking. Like, not exaggerating, I probably would cry. But I'm not really doing that well emotionally right now, so it doesn't take much to get me to cry. <laughs> well, even normally it doesn't take much to get me to cry, but <laughs> specifically right now, we're not thriving. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, Gavin's gonna be a little writer, so we can have his little desk. And maybe, should we get him like a reddish? No, I probably shouldn't have too much pattern. No, like more stripes are not necessary for us today. That's probably bad. This seems okay. Simsy, I'm not dramatic. Also, Simsy, if I spilled my tea, I would cry. Well, uh, okay. If there's one thing about me, it's it's that I am dramatic. I mean, but yeah, yeah. At least I know. Like I'm not sat here trying to pretend that I'm not dramatic. <laughs> Princess Mora, Simmer, Coco, Steph, thank you for the subs. Also, hi Maggie, how are you doing? Good, I hope. Uh, I will probably give him a bookshelf. Maybe he could have, like, I don't know. I don't know which one. <laughs> A standard bookshelf may be okay. Something like that. And we could give him like a little reading nook or something. Which family is this for? This is the Rumi's household. You know the one that has like Zoe Patel and Jay Huntington? Um, they live in that like weird house with the hole in the middle in Oasis Springs. <laughs> I've been renovating their house, so. Okay, maybe he could have some of these, like, as if these are maybe some articles that he's written. We can get three of them in all different swatches. That might be cool. Okay. Uh, above your bed... I don't know. There is a fancy book in a frame. It's a wall decor object. I was gonna use that, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to put it. Do you think that his whole personality is that he went to university? <laughs> I do like that item, but I don't know if it makes sense in here. I'm looking for the... At least it matches, so that's good. I think, where even is it? I guess I could have filtered by base game and I didn't, so that's my own fault. This framed jersey could be cool for Jay Huntington. This is the open book item. It's cool, right? I don't know. <laughs> Meg, Princess Mara, thank you for the subs. Okay. 
We still have yet to find anything for above his bed. The pet poker painting. Oh my god, wait. That might be kind of fun. Cats and dogs. You might be onto something. Because <laughs> this kind of matches. That is so dramatic. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. I think we have to use that. That feels very nice to me. And then maybe he could have like... Well, maybe we should get like a blue colored lamp. Something... Those might be good. Okay. Didn't know the painting existed. Oh, really? Yeah, this is from Cats and Dogs. It's kind of fun, isn't it? He better like it. Okay, we were talking about making this into, like, a slight reading nook area. <laughs> okay, Mooney and Meg, thank you for the subs. Okay, I think... Oh, I guess he needs a dresser, too. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I almost forgot about you needing a place to put your clothes. <laughs> I was gonna get him a couch and no dresser. <laughs> he probably needs a dresser. This matches his bed. Maybe he could have that and then a chair that he can read in. That's like almost similar enough vibes, but also slightly different enough to make it good. And maybe he could have a mirror above it. I love the parenthood mirror for putting above dressers. I know I like basically always use it, but the parenthood mirror just fits so well above like any dresser. It's just good. Maybe a clock. I don't know. Hmm. I could put some books on this for him. We'll get you some clutter, buddy. You always dated Gavin? Yeah, I used to date him a fair amount, like, back when The Sims 4 was newer. I liked him. It's been a while. I also don't really date townies anymore. Now when my Sims date townies, it's, like, almost exclusively Jeffrey Landgraf. <laughs> I don't really know why that is. I, there's probably something to unpack there. But yeah, I, yeah, pretty much only him. So that's interesting. <laughs> Endless Chanto, okay, thank you for the subs. Holly, you think I missed your sub? I'm so sorry if I did. I really, I really apologize. Thank you for resubbing. I really appreciate that. Um, okay. What is your sim state then? Usually like sims that I have made. Or random townies, because at this point in my legacy challenge, uh, all the other original townies are dead. So, yeah. <laughs> you can't really date them if they no longer exist is the problem. <laughs> so that's, that's mostly the issue that I've been having recently. I don't know what wallpaper to use. the chair clipping um yeah but it's gonna stay clipping okay <laughs> thank you for pointing that out i'm gonna keep it <laughs> what is your, i don't know what wallpaper to pick we pretend we do not see it i don't know that's kind of I guess I could use some of the wood, like I guess I could pair this with the wood base. Maybe he could have carpet in here. Cause I don't like how the woods look together. They're gonna start yelling about carpet on carpet, but that's not even that weird. Okay, speaking as a person who had a rug on her carpeted bedroom floor, thank you very much. So if you insult this, you insult me. You got it? Um, uh-uh, uh-uh, 
Yeah, this room is a completely different vibe than the rest of the house, but I think that's kind of the point. Like, I'm kind of going for that, you know? I want them to each have very unique, different styles of rooms, <laughs> I think. I like the concept of it, I just think it's kind of fun. Feel so cozy with carpet? Yeah, I think so too. Okay, I'm feeling more um, emotionally prepared now to return back to this. Somebody was saying to put the flowers in Zoe Patel's room. And I actually like that a lot, so. I wonder if I could try to use them more than once. These are all freezer bunnies, right? Yeah. I don't know, what if we just did that and we had it go kind of behind the bed? You think darker carpet? What if they had red carpet? What if it's gross brown carpet? I'm actually gonna give him gross brown carpet, I've decided. Sorry, you can't stop me. <laughs> I like it. I think it's cute. You know, Yexeroni, the Sims do not have likes and dislikes. It sure would be fun and realistic if they did, right? But no, they don't. <laughs> of course they don't. So yeah, we can't really rely on that to help us here. Yo, I also grew up with gross brown carpet. Don't worry. I, I, there's nothing wrong with gross brown carpet. I also grew up with it, so. Everything's fine. Okay, so we decided in Mitchell's room, we wanted it to be a little bit gross. Right? So maybe he could have some mess, like some, the mess from high school years or something. You grew up with gross forest green carpet? Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, my carpet was really gross. It wasn't even my fault. My sister, one time, she drew on it with a Sharpie. Like, she, when she was a small child, we had to keep Sharpies out of the house because my sister would draw on everything with them. And one time she drew, like, giant circles in Sharpie on my carpet and it was never able to come out. So we had to put, like, a rug on top of it, but in, like, kind of a weird spot so that you wouldn't see it. It was just all kinds of weird things like that in, in my childhood bedroom. <laughs> that carpet's not there anymore. They replaced, um, they replaced the carpet in the bedrooms with like a, that like fake wood looking tile. Um, which to be honest, I don't like either, but I wouldn't tell my parents that. Cause I think it was like, you know, they spent a lot of money on it. So I'll be quiet, but it is how I feel. <laughs> Kids and houses just don't go together well. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right to me. Okay, he can have that. Um, so this Sim Mitchell, like we said, he's the one that wears the blue and the orange kinda. He wants to be a joke star and he's in the chef career. So I'll probably give him a, um, a microphone. Um, let's just use the base game one. Okay. No, I have a brother and a sister. My brother didn't draw on my things when I was a child though. So, I don't need to make fun of him on stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, my sister hasn't drawn on my things in many years. She was young. She also used to take my stuff and write her name on it and then say it was hers. She would like, she would like take my like notebook that I was using to draw in and then write her name on it and then be like, no, it's mine. Sorry, that one in particular is a sore subject. <laughs> that made me really upset when I was younger. <laughs> um, yeah, just younger siblings. It's hard to be the oldest, let's just say that. Should I still use this wallpaper? What do you guys think? I'm not opposed to it. 
But I kind of want to get like the green and orange combo. What if I did this? What if I gave him this? Do you think I can use that with that wallpaper? I don't know. No, Bumbles, we don't have a budget for this. We're kind of just uh, decorating for fun. So there's been absolutely zero thought put into a budget. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of almost want to have like a lower one because I, I want to have posters everywhere and stuff. I don't really know what I want from this. I'm struggling with these rooms. We'll see. Hmm. Purple, thank you for the 12 months, and Plancy, and Mojo, and Sheena, thank you for the subs too. Someone said bed with no frame and you agree? Like the eco lifestyle debug one? I guess, honestly, I'm not mad about that. That's kind of a funny idea. Dirty double. Okay. I'll use that color. <laughs> Maybe, um, okay, so like City Living has this nightstand. Why do we hate Mitchell this much? Is Are we really doing this just because he said he didn't like my house? Is this all like a payback thing? Because he said my house was poorly decorated? I mean, he kind of deserves it after what he said. You want to talk about poorly decorated, Mitchell? Well, I'll show you poorly decorated. No, he's not a slob. He's just lazy. I don't know. And a bro. I guess he can be messy. I'm, I'm kind of picturing, like, college dorm a little. Well, not that I have a lot of experience with boys' college dorm rooms, <laughs> but that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, do any of these seem like... Maybe the Void Critter ones. What if we got the thingy from Eco Lifestyle too? Not Eco Lifestyle, Discover University. The like wall thingy? This item. That kind of comes in a nice green color. Did Dan have a college dorm room? Well, I only knew Dan when he lived, um, they had like a little townhouse in his last year of college. Um, anybody? Here we go. He went to the University of Portsmouth. Um, so yeah, let's look at some pictures, actually. I'll show you what the kind of thing they lived in was. Um, his room was not messy. Um, but it was lacking in furniture, <laughs> obviously. Um, not in America. No, 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 no. Portsmouth, UK. You need to see the kind of house. Um... Trying to find one that is flat. Some of these look quite nice. And no offense, Dan, but... Okay. Kind of like... Why does this image look like this? Okay, well, kind of like this. <laughs> like, just a small, little, flat townhouse is where I knew him first. They're kind of cute. See? and small. Adorable. You're from near there? Yeah. So you call it a townhouse and people are like, what does that mean? So we have to explain, we need to show images. But that's where he lived when I first knew him. <laughs> OMG British architecture. <laughs> oh, just like home, huh? Maybe I'll get a ceiling fan. I would like a ceiling fan. A 
and then oh how about light bulb nothing over it like from tiny living i meant laundry day <laughs> i don't know why i said that i was wrong oh the framed chef poster could be kind of good maybe i'll get that is that base game am i dropping frames i don't i hope not no i haven't dropped any frames not a single frame was dropped today. Zero percent. Should we give him a picture of Bob Pancakes? Maybe it's not base game. And it's, is it one of the ones from Get Famous instead? No, even worse, it's from Movie Hangout. I was wrong again. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay, well, he can have that. I like that. Um, should he have like a little lamp? What if his lamp was broken? Why am I giving him this terrible room? Hmm, RC and Soap and Emma and Quilly, thank you for the subs. I'm spending way longer on this than I thought I would be, to be honest. That's okay though, it's kind of fun. I'm enjoying it. Let's get him like some sort of tall dresser. Tilly just showed me a picture of a cheese slicer and I've been using one as a spatula all this time. You've been using a cheese slicer as a spatula? That's kind of cute, Brew. I mean, I guess it does look like a spatula. That picture that is in mods. So, I don't know. I've never seen a cheese slicer like that. Okay. I didn't mean to go out of build mode. Oh my god. Okay. Um, should he have a desk? Maybe he should have a small desk. I don't really know. A small desk and a laptop might benefit him. He needs a desk because he has to write jokes, right? Maybe he can have a laptop. Oh good, a Strangerville laptop. Eh. Orange and green. What do we put on this wall then? I guess I'll stick this kind of close to here. Maybe like a, a mirror? Oh, we could have a TV. What if we had a TV? It might be nice to have an extra TV because there's so many Sims living here. Maybe he's got two dressers. And there's a TV at the other end of the room. We can get that beanbag thing from high school years. That seems pretty good to me. That'll be nice. He can lay in bed and watch the TV. Honestly, I'm kind of jealous. Like, he's living the dream a little bit there. Maybe we can get him a game console too. That would also be kind of nice, I think, for your Sims to have access to the game console if you wanted to actually play here. Yeah, it's interesting because I feel like in real life having a TV in your bedroom is really not uncommon, but I barely ever give my Sims TVs in their bedrooms. Has a TV but that broken bed? I mean, I, it makes sense, you know, priorities. <laughs> I would prioritize a, 
a, a mattress over a fancy TV, but you know, whatever. Before I spent $2,000 on a TV, I'd probably go to Ikea and get a better mattress. <laughs> this is like $2,500, is not it? $2,600. Yeah, before I spent $2,600 on a TV, I would probably buy a better mattress. <laughs> <laughs> is it lagging? Uh-oh. It's not lagging on my end. I think it's a Twitch problem again. That's so annoying. It's not lagging for everyone, so I think that is a sign that it's not on my end. Maybe I'll give him some blinds. Okay. Um, these are the university blinds. Isn't that so weird? The way that the lighting it works in this game, when you put blinds in, it actually makes it brighter. <laughs> okay. So we got Zoe's room, Mitchell's room, that's Gavin's room, and this is gonna be Jay Huntington's room. There's a pink wall outside. Okay, we'll fix that later. Jay Huntington is active, non-committal, a bro. He wants to be a bodybuilder, and he's in the tech guru career. So... We need to get a bunch of stuff. I might get him like some gym equipment too. I like the vibes. Maybe like, I guess I find the treadmill most realistic to have in their house, but this is probably the easiest to fit into the house. Spacing wise. Hmm. Or a punching bag. Yeah, the punching bag's also an idea, but I think I prefer the treadmill. Just generally. I don't know. What do you think? He needs to have a fancy computer, too. So we need to have a lot of stuff, actually. You know what I can give him? <laughs> Wait, 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 let me find a desk. You know what I could give him is the, um, the big fancy curved monitor. Uh, can I even afford it? Hello? Here we go. Barely. He can have a big fancy curved monitor. Oh, it comes in red. Ooh, that might be interesting. <laughs> okay, Rion Lauren, uh, hey, and, and everybody, thank you for the subs too, by the way. Is he a gamer? He's um he's in the tech guru career, so he has to have the programming and the video gaming skill. He's both. He is both. Um let's find a red sort of bed. Treadmill and a fancy monitor before we pick a bed. Yeah, of course. I mean, again, priorities. What do you need? A fancy computer. <laughs> Oh, I spent all my money. Okay. Um, I think I like that. I think the red is kind of cool, to be honest. I don't know if he can have a treadmill. He might need to have something smaller. I'm sorry, Jay Huntington. Takes up too much space. Bed against the wall for scooting. I guess if we needed to, we could put it against the wall. I don't really like it with the windows, annoyingly. Oh my god, this whole wall got... Oh no, it was supposed to be that color, I see. I think that I was supposed to paint this wall like that. Where's the pink wall in the... Oh, there it is. Someone was talking about a pink wall on the outside. Okay. Not enough space to woohoo. I guess that's true. If anyone needs to have access to the bed for woohoo, it's probably Jay Huntington. I used to think that Jay Huntington was like one of the best Sims for your Sims to date. He has like Don Lothario vibes, you know? I mean, I, I wouldn't date him to be clear, but, but I used to have a lot of Sims date him. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
boyfriend material but not husband material chat says i mean isn't he like supposed to be kind of rich though so when you think about it look you guys i'm not to this is gonna sound bad but like maybe he is husband material not that you should only marry someone for money but like when given the opportunity to Money buys happiness. But he has three roommates? Yeah, yeah, he doesn't live alone. But like, maybe he just doesn't want to. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I need to get a treadmill. Maybe I will still use the treadmill. Maybe he can have a nice one though. Oh, let's get the fancy one. Oh, that's good, to be honest. Or maybe, okay, maybe he's gonna get his trust fund money. He just doesn't have it yet, because his grandma's not dead yet. But it's one of those, like, you know, he stands to inherit a large amount of money, but he doesn't have it yet. So that's why he has roommates, but pretty soon he's gonna get it all and then he's gonna be rich. <laughs> That's the lore behind Jay Hunting did. <laughs> or maybe it's like you you'll receive it upon like your 25th birthday or like when you get married you'll get the money. <laughs> There's like a stipulation <laughs> for his inheritance. <laughs> Sorry granny, we're kind of waiting for you to die, my friend. <laughs> okay. Some people like to have roommates for company and stuff. That's just, that, um, that wouldn't be me, so. <laughs> Struggling to relate to that, Jay Huntington. <laughs> um, this poster costs 2,195 simoleons. That seems good. Um, he doesn't have a dresser either. I like living with Dan. Um, because he's nice and doesn't annoy me. So that's a win. But I don't know, having roommates in other situations can be hard sometimes. <laughs> I also, honestly, I like uh, Dan being here because, um, uh, in the later years of me living alone, it was starting to give me a lot of anxiety. <laughs> but that was due to some very specific circumstances uh, of viewers coming to my house. <laughs> so so I, that's not really like an average circumstance. <laughs> it was fine before that. <laughs> but then that started happening and it, it was less fine. So, you know, <laughs> before then, all was well. And I was more okay with being alone. And then I started to get scared. <sighs> okay. I think a mirror is good for him. And then I want to do like a painted brick. So. Yeah, anyway, I'm not kidding about that, by the way. It happened more than once. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Please don't do that to me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay. Um... I like that brick on the wall. You have security voids now though. Oh yeah, you're right. I'll just uh, stick my cats on them. It'll be fine. <laughs> no one no one can, can show up if I've got, you know, tiny kittens to get them. <laughs> There's nothing more scary than a couple of kittens that are about this big. Yeah, Armadillo, they showed up my front door. It happened more than once. Um, the first time that it happened, uh, I was streaming. And I think they were trying to, like, cause a scene by, like, spam ringing the doorbell um, and stuff so that you could, like, hear it on stream. And what they were doing um, when I... So basically, they came to the house, right? And they had this like weird paper bag. And it was like two people that were probably about my age. 
um, in the Hillsborough Hoover bag, and they were spam ringing the doorbell. And I saw it on my camera while I was live, and I was like, that's really weird. Maybe they have a delivery and they're at the wrong house. Like, that was my initial thought. But then they came back, and then came back again, and then came back again. So I was like, this is not normal. <laughs> like, the, I, don't, I don't know what's going on here, but I obviously didn't address it on stream. And I, I felt in my heart that they were like there for different reasons, right? But my mods were all like, oh, they're probably, he's probably just delivering, it's fine. I watched the video back. They were playing my stream out loud on their phone. They would ring the doorbell and then listen to try and hear the doorbell. And I could hear them talking. They were like, oh, let's try the next house. So they didn't know for sure that it was my house, but they were going back and forth between houses trying to spam ring the doorbell um, and like figure out that it was my house. Joke's on you, the doorbell doesn't work. So. No one heard it. <laughs> um, but anyway, so <laughs> yikes. And what was in the bag? What was in the bag? I don't know. Cause this is the thing, right? Maybe it's a gift. Maybe it's a bad thing. Who knows what's in the bag? <sighs> so yeah, that kind of thing happened to me a few times. <laughs> I still don't know what was in the bag <laughs> and it really freaked me out. Like, really, really, really freaked me out. Um, so anyway, I don't know if they had bad intentions or not, but I think that even if you think your intentions are good, uh, going to someone's house like that is bad intentions. <laughs> so anyway, please don't do that to people. I don't know. I always wonder about this because I hear that happening to like other YouTubers, honestly, more often than it's happened to me. Um, and I always wonder, like, what do you think's gonna happen? Like, if you show up at, like, a big YouTuber's house, do you think that they're gonna, like, come out and talk to you? Because they're not. They don't want you there. They don't want to talk to you. You've, like, totally invaded their privacy. They're not gonna, like, come take a selfie with you in front of their front door, you know? So, I don't really understand what their intentions are, but... <laughs> When did that happen? Oh, that was a couple years ago. That wasn't that wasn't that recent. Listen, besties, if it were recent, I wouldn't be talking about it. <laughs> I didn't talk about it on the internet for a long time after it happened. I don't live there anymore, so it's not a problem to talk about. But um, yeah, if it was happening now, I wouldn't be saying it. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, that was before Dan was here. So it was like extra scary for me because I was alone, so. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't wonder, I've heard about that happening to people like Jenna Marbles too, where like parents would bring their kids to the house. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I, I just, you'd think that they would know better? It's not like it's a tourist attraction. Like this is where someone lives and they're not like it, they're, to a certain extent, like once their address is out there, like they can't really do anything to get rid of it again. Like after it's already sort of public knowledge and like on all these websites and stuff. So like the best they can do is move and they shouldn't have to do that. But like people, like, you hear stories about like literal parents bringing their kids to YouTubers houses to go see them. I feel like it probably happens less often now. I think there was like an era of YouTube where people talked about that happening all the time and they don't really talk about it as much. But anyway, I know someone that happened to, they um, they like order, I won't say who obviously, but like a friend of mine, um, they had ordered like Uber Eats or DoorDash or something um, and the driver recognized them uh, and then brought their kids back to the house afterward because they like, realized who it was that they delivered to and then came back to the house with their kids. But like, <laughs> hello, <laughs> you can't do that. Like, that's so dangerous. Imagine under any circumstance, like a delivery driver coming back to your house to see you specifically post delivery. Um, it's creepy under any circumstance. It's so creepy. And that happens to people where like the driver is like, oh, like you want to go out or something? And then now they know where you live. But anyway, in this case, they're a YouTuber and it's just, anyway. Yikes. So yeah, this is, that was pre COVID. So there was no like leave at the door sort of options back then. Um, now that's more common. So 
that's a win, but. Anyway, you hear stories about stuff like this all the time. It's kind of scary. Don't do that. As a delivery driver, I'm just as interested in getting away from you as you are me leaving, right? <laughs> I feel like the average person wants nothing to do. Like, this interaction can be as short as humanly possible, please. <laughs> I bet, I bet. Um, okay, anyway, I think I finished the build. I like this house, this was fun. This is the, like I said, it's the roomies house in Oasis Springs. I'll show you where it is on the map so you get an idea before I do a tour, but. Um, it's where like Jay Huntington and Zoe Patel and Gavin and Mitchell and everybody lives. Um, I always, <laughs> it's so funny. Jay Huntington always gets full named. And so does Zoe Patel in my mind. But I never, I never, there's some Sims like Nancy is just Nancy. Bob and Eliza, just Bob and Eliza. But some Sims, it's like, like Johnny Zest, always full name. Isn't that so funny how that happens? Katrina Caliente, I always full name Katrina Caliente. Don Lothario, always full name. Bella Goth, always full name. And then like Bella's kids, I call them Cassie. <laughs> I nickname them. <laughs> That's so funny how that happens. Travis Scott, always full name, yeah. Mortimer gets called Morty. Oh, I always call Summer Holiday by her full name too. And Stanley Humphrey always gets called by his full name. I wonder why that is. Why, like, some sims feel more like their full name is necessary. And, like, Penny Pizzazz. You're never gonna just call her Penny. The Pizzazz is kind of the most iconic part. Like, you have to call Penny Pizzazz. You have to say the Pizzazz part. You can't just call her Penny. It's because of the Pizzazz. It's, pizzazz is the best part. It just sounds right. <laughs> so famous. How did Stanley get his name? Randomizer. Oliver, I didn't even name him. Randomize, randomize. Oh, that's good. I made him as like a random guy. I didn't plan on him being a sim that I used for everything when I first made him. And then it sort of just started happening. So anyway, let me show you the house. <laughs> this is the renovated version of the roomies house. It took me like two days to finish because I, um, well, I, I spent a while renovating other houses before I decided which one to renovate. I like had a Spencer Kim Lewis moment in the last stream and then gave up and started this. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> um, on the inside, we got a little entryway. There's a dining room. I love this kitchen. People, oops, oh no, there's a dirty cup. Oh no. People keep asking what this floor is from. That's actually from the bowling stuff pack, believe it or not. Um, it is from the bowling stuff pack. They have a big bathroom with laundry in it. Uh, down here, we've got a nice big living room, sorry. Uh, another bathroom, we got Zoe Patel's room. Uh, this one's Mitchell's room. We got Gavin's room. We got Jay Huntington III's room. And then out here, there's a bar. Um, we've got like some stuff for plants. There's a pool, some lounge chairs with grilled cheese on them. We got this. And that's the whole place. I think it turned out pretty cute. I think that was kind of fun to do. I, I had fun doing their bedrooms too. It's always kind of fun to like fit rooms to their personalities, even if the rooms do not match the house even remotely. <laughs> I think it's kind of fun to do. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, hey, Marn and Becky and hello and Madam and Tired and YouTube and Camila and Rhea, thank you for the subs. Okay, I am, listen. So here was my, here was my thought process, okay? I was thinking about finishing this build today and then maybe switching, um, to another game. I don't know how many of you have seen or heard of this game called Faye Farm, but I played it like a week or two ago and then I got too busy and then my parents' cat died. So I, <laughs> sorry, it's been a rough couple weeks. Um, so I haven't had time to play it again yet. And I kind of have been wanting to play it like all week. Um, and I was thinking it might be fun to kind of switch and play a little bit today, if that's okay with you all. Um, so I think I might do that now, if that's okay. If you haven't seen it yet, I think you might like it. It's kind of cute. So, Faye Farm, Faye Farm, Faye Farm. It's nice, I think you'll like it. So we can go over and play a little bit of it. Um, you've seen Shella play it, you've never heard of it? Oh, it just came out, Cameron, so that's probably why you hadn't heard of it until recently, because it just came out. Um, it released like on September 8th or something, so I guess it's been a few weeks, but. Um, I don't know. 
let me open the game up so we can go see it. You're playing right now, really? Yeah, this is the sort of game that's like right up my alley. I love these kind of cozy, cutesy farming sims. <laughs> Those three words are right up my alley. Cozy, cutesy farming sim. Oh, there's an update. Uh-oh. Hold on, I download. It's not free, no. Uh, it's like $40. If you buy it on Switch, it's $60 because you can only get the deluxe version, I think. Let me fix my hair, hold on. Hold on. Did I put it on the gallery? Oh, did I not put it on the gallery just then? I thought I did. Did I not? Oh dear. Well, I'll have to do it after I play Fae Farm. Because I already closed the game. <laughs> yeah, the game's a little bit expensive, but it is it is cute, so... Um, this is why we play these things. I play them so that you can see if it's worth the money to you. I think 60 is a bit of a stretch, but... Um, hold on, it's gonna load. There we go. There we go. It's so cute though. Like, look. We can be a fairy and have wings, but I don't have them yet. You love my sweater? Oh, thank you. Karma is a cat. <laughs> so. <laughs> is it going to be free? No, this one's not gonna be free. Um. It's so funny, everybody asks that about like every game we play, and for the most part, the answer is almost always no. <laughs> There's a, a couple times, a couple times games have been free, but for the most part, it's like never the case. Um, I'm sorry to break it to you, but <laughs> this one's kind of a little pricey, I guess. You watched Vixella play this for hours? Yeah, I gotta say, I'm really early in game right now. I'm not that far into this yet. So, oh, I'm out of water. But I guess some games are uh, going that direction of being free a little bit more commonly these days, I suppose. But um, it's definitely not really the norm, so. Farming level up. Okay. Okay. Your friend's Kaz and Carmen, where did I get the sweatshirt? Oh, this is from Taylor Swift's merch store. I bought this literally months ago and only came a couple weeks ago. I, listen, I love Taylor Swift. But I don't know if I can recommend her merch store. <laughs> I love you, Taylor, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, um... Maybe start preparing some of those berries. You know, Juju, I played My Time at Portia almost obsessively a few years ago. Uh, like when it first came out. I played so much, back when it was still in early access, I played so much of that game. I haven't played it in a few years, but I used to play it loads. So, I really enjoyed it back then. But I, I never played it when it was like fully released. I only, I literally only played it in early access. Okay, um, do you guys wanna try and go into the mines? What, I, I forget what I was up to, to be completely honest with you. We need to like, Start thinking about, okay. Aspen wants me to get to a cozy count higher in the house. I need to defeat any enemy 10 times and grow a pink flower. We can go try and defeat an enemy 10 times. And increase our cozy count, I guess. I don't know. Is there anyone else that has like a job for me? I think I already have the one for Frida. Maybe I can go talk to him too, see what he wants. Let's go see. Alyssa, if you're just tuning in, we literally just switched games. I was playing The Sims um, up until like literally five minutes ago. So uh, we were working on some EA builds, but we literally just switched if you missed it. Hello, Cleo. Oh, I upgraded my pickaxe. Some metals on Azoria have become infused with the wild magic that is spread over the island. Oh! Tools made with those metals have magic in them, and that magic can make your job even easier. And wouldn't you know it, iron is a magical metal along with silver and gold, and it's found in the saltwater mines just a bit further down. Okay. I can get an iron pickaxe. We can try and do that. Um, 
let me go see about isn't the pickaxe person like over here thank you oh my god you guys i'm lost what do you want oh you're the person with the flower okay sorry it's been a couple weeks since i played this game so i'm kind of lost i don't know who i'm talking to or what i'm doing Okay, hello. I'd like to open your shop because I would like to upgrade. I need two iron. Didn't I have some though? Oh, I only have copper. Oh, I think I used all my iron. Oh, let's go to the mines. Let's go to the mines. We'll try and get some more iron in the mines. That can be step one. Okay, we have a plan for today now. Sorry everyone, I got there in the end. Does the stream keep freezing on your end? That's so weird. I don't know why it's doing that, to be honest. I've been having issues with that all day today. I think it's a Twitch problem based on what people have been saying to me, because I'm not dropping any frames. Like, it doesn't look like it's doing anything on my end, but I think it's kind of struggling a little bit, just in general. I don't know why. Maybe they're having some server problems the past couple days. Because this was kind of happening on Friday, too. But it's not happening to everyone. It's only happening to some people. I don't know. Maybe I'll take these and we can try and cook them up later. That will be good. froze for 10 minutes. Ooh, freezing for you site-wide. I wonder, here's a question. It's on both your phone and your TV. I was gonna ask um, if it was happening like more on mobile or more on people's TVs or what. So that's interesting to know. I haven't been watching Twitch like pretty much at all this weekend because I was busy. So I don't really, I haven't had this problem happen to me yet watching someone else's stream. Oh, I can teleport levels like in the elevator in Stardew. Oh my God, thank you for telling me that because I didn't know that yet. That's embarrassing. Oh, maybe I will try and kill you first, though. Um, with the quests... I have to defeat an enemy ten times. So maybe I will just keep going down this so I can try and get more of those guys. Hmm. Go away. Go away. I like the monsters in this game because they're not scary. <laughs> anyway. I am, I must say, I'm probably like three or four hours into this game only. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not that far in if you're just tuning in. We haven't seen much of it yet. Embarrassingly enough. Having freezing issues on your iPad? Oh man, that's so annoying. It sucks when Twitch is having problems, isn't it? Go away. Yeah, I haven't played in like a week, so bear with me. Spent a little bit. Wired Mellow, thanks for the 26 months, and Alyssa, and Ed Sub, and Lisa, thank you for the subs too. Okay. Oh, Snappy's doing really well, actually. She's been, um,. She's been okay. She's got a follow-up appointment with the vet on um, Wednesday about her teeth. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to pin actually the, this one instead. But anyway. No, Snap has not made a stream cameo recently. Well, for a few days, she wasn't allowed to go upstairs um, because the vet didn't want her after when she was wibbly wobbly after her anesthesia. And then, um, to be honest, she's scared to walk past the kitten's room to come upstairs. So <laughs> she's been spending most of her time in my bedroom recently, which is not so much uh, up here, but 
she's getting better. It's just been kind of a stressful couple weeks for her with the kittens and her surgery, so. She will be okay. But she's been hanging out in the places she doesn't have to walk past the room to get to. <laughs> I don't know, it's been a very emotional kind of hard thing for me. Um, I feel a lot of guilt about it, but like, I don't, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> like, um, anyway, she doesn't like them that much yet. She doesn't hate them, but she doesn't like them that much yet. So it's just a slow progress. A lot of people don't know this, but it's not like, it's uh, not exactly easy to introduce cats. It takes them time to adjust and come around. So it's very normal, but doesn't make it any less hard on me. <laughs> so, okay. It's very hard for me to not help but feel like I ruined her life, you know? <laughs> Even though I know deep down I did not ruin her life, like it's fine, but I still feel like, um, I still feel like that a little bit. Just takes time. I need to place a thingy in here. Huh. I don't think I want to go further in the mines today. But you've enriched her life, maybe. <laughs> I've definitely stressed her out <laughs> and then stolen her teeth, so it's like double. I didn't put any in the previous floors. I thought that the previous floors, I had them all already in there. Because I was just running through doors. I'm pretty sure I've placed them up to this level already. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh well. Oh well. Oh hello. It's my plan to keep the kittens. Oh yeah, that's why we're doing the whole introduction process. I have I have kept two of them. So yeah, I totally get that, Jans. Yeah, and even like with my parents' cast, like um, Pogi, who recently passed away, he didn't like Lemon when they first met and then they became best friends. So it's perfectly normal. It's just hard to do, you know? <laughs> so it'll be okay though. Die. It wants me to eat my toasted berries. So. Hello. What in the world is our weapon? Oh, it's like a magical staff. It's kind of cool. Right? How many cats do I have all together? Well, I have three cats that live here in my house now as of recently when I found these kittens in a sewer. Um, and my parents have three cats, one that they had before, and then two that they found in a sewer. <laughs> there were four sewer cats and they're, well, my parents had four cats up until last week when one of them died, so. Life's been rough in my family's household recently. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I have three cats. I still count the other cats like my family's cats as being my cats too, but you probably don't. Should I buy the first backpack upgrade? I did, didn't I, KB? I thought I had it. Okay. Thank you, goodbye everyone. Stay away from me. Goodbye, thank you. Okay. Oh my God, go away. So inconvenient. I know these cats are gonna be the sewer cats forever. Even when they've been out of the sewer for a long time. <laughs> they've already been out of the sewer longer than they were in a sewer, but I, they're still the sewer cats. It's kind of mean. The enemy is a giant ship steering wheel. The enemies are like enchanted objects. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a steering wheel and a chest and like a little clock. 
You can leave the sewer, but the sewer never leaves you. Wow, that was beautiful. I know, the kittens are growing up so fast. I can't believe how big they've gotten so quickly. It's honestly horrible. I wish they would stop growing and just say tiny forever. Like, when did you become not such a tiny little five-week-old infant baby? Um... Oh, Dino, the second the kittens and Snap are getting along in a positive, good way, I will never shut up about it. Trust me, you'll hear about it. <laughs> as soon as Snap gets along with the kittens in any way, shape, or form, even, like, for me, all I give updates on stream that are like, Snap didn't hiss at them today. <laughs> so, when they actually hang out in, like, a friendly way eventually, oh, I'll be telling you all about it. Don't you worry. <laughs> Don't you worry. I will be sure that you hear about it. It'll be a good day. It just takes time, so. Okay. I guess I'll just spend like all day today in here trying to get some more resources. I don't have any of this yet, do I? I don't. Yay. Oh yeah, I bet a video about like the very long introduction process would probably be helpful to people that are going through that, so I'm not opposed to doing that eventually. Yeah. Have they tried to interact with Snap at all? Um, so Shrimp likes to watch her. She doesn't let them get close to her because she hisses at them if they try and go near her in any way at all. Um, but Shrimp likes to stare at her. He He's the one that's a little bit more curious and kind of pushing the boundary a little bit. Sunny doesn't like to go near her at all. Um, so. <laughs> but they haven't tried to like, Sh Shrimp has gone up to her like twice. He does try to approach a little bit, but then she starts hissing when he gets like six feet away. So he doesn't really get that close. He's gotten close to that a couple times, but mostly when she wasn't really realizing. <laughs> so. Anyway, she, uh, she knows her boundaries. And she sticks to them. But yeah, he does, he does watch her. He's fascinated, I guess, a little bit. Oh my god, stop! Chill out. Okay. Uh-oh, I'm out. Oh, I have some more. Okay. But yeah, he's not, like, scared of her or anything. If anything, Snap's kind of scared of them, which is funny, because they're kittens. <laughs> Chelsea, Molly, Raph, Animals, Rebecca, thank you for the subs. But, yeah, they're they're getting there. And we're lucky enough that they sort of, we have room for them to kind of have their own space. Like, I've kept it so the kittens aren't allowed in my bedroom, so um, Snappy sort of has, like, a... Oh, I'm gonna die. Snappy has, like, a safe zone that's kitten-free. Um... Which I think has been helping her, so. You know, Flo, I don't actually know what happens when you die in this game. Because I haven't died in this game yet. So I'll be interested to find out. How much iron do I have? Only nine. Yikes. Yikes. I should probably try and kill that thing, too. There are no penalties for dying or for staying up late. Maybe I could let myself die then, just to see what happens. I just go back to my home? Oh. Well, that's fine. I figured something bad would happen to me if I die. I'm out of energy. Okay. Dead. Ooh. They put me out. Well, that's good. <laughs> I'm gonna grab these shells on my way back, I think. <laughs> Whoa. 
don't go up there yet. Well, good. Stardew Valley is a lot meaner than that. <laughs> so that works out nicely, I suppose. Oh, yeah, James, I think that her having a kitten free space is helping her. Um, so I'm glad. I do feel a bit bad that the kittens can't come in my room, but like, Snap's favorite spot in the whole world is my room, so. <laughs> I don't know, it's okay. I think eventually the kittens can come in there, but just for now, when we're still sort of early in this, it's probably for the best if they don't, so. Um, should I try and find- who was I gonna look for? I guess it's already 11, so never mind, I won't bother with that today. Yeah, they'll have time in the future for that. Just not yet. <laughs> um, okay. Um, Christine, so I let the kittens go anywhere as long as one of us is downstairs. Right now, um, the kittens are closed in their bedroom. Um, they have a room downstairs that they're closed in. Um, and I have them in there right now because I'm not, like, downstairs to supervise, and I don't want to, like, lock Snap out of the rest of the house just because the kittens are out. Like, I think it's better if Snap has free roam kitten-free when they're in their bedroom. And they're, they were sleeping when I went up to stream anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But then when I'm downstairs, I let them out to free roam. They just can't go upstairs on their own, um, because I'm scared they're gonna fall off the landing and hurt themselves. <laughs> so only when they're supervised they can go upstairs, but... Um, anyway, that's kind of the idea, at least. Oh, I'm gonna cook these, I think. Cook all of them. But yeah, that way I don't want to, like, trap Snap in my bedroom so the kittens can be out while I'm live or something. But we let them free roam when we're down there with them, so... Okay, new day has begun. <laughs> yeah, there are songs, thank you for the subs. Okay, maybe I could try and craft a couple more things. Cause it wants me to um, get like my coziness score up. Interesting. Um, but I don't really can't craft most of this stuff yet. Undiscovered item. Oh, I can make a picnic basket. Hmm. I can also make a wizard's mop. And I can make a clay pot. And <laughs> um, dirt path. I already have a rug a little bit. Yeah, I guess I could probably try and make some glass so I can make that. Oh. Interesting. Can make the bed with copper? Oh, good. Okay, maybe I could try and do that today then. I also need to make, um... Ooh. I'm gonna need these later. Um, what was I gonna do? Down here. I wanted to make, perhaps I should make some glass. Just one. And then maybe I can make, I don't have to, oh, I need one more to make that. Ugh. That's fine. I don't have enough iron yet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Amy, thanks for the sub gift, by the way. Well, that's no good. That is no good. Hello, chicken. I didn't talk to you yesterday. I forgot. Sorry. Oh well. Oh well. Feed the chicken? Um. I probably should go in there and look, but they eat outside, don't they, also? Maybe? Maybe a little? Maybe? <laughs> Eats the grass outside, too? Okay, good. That's what I was hoping. I'm so excited for these flowers. 
That's gonna be cool. You got your wings in the game today. Can I ask, how many hours do you think you played the game until you got your wings? Chicken will be happier with food inside. Oh, really? Well, what if I want it to be outside? What then? I can take this egg. I don't remember how to take the egg. There we go. I have an egg. 10 maybe? Hmm, interesting. That's a long time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I am currently um, about four in. So, that's no good. Collect items. Oh, I do have one piece of iron there. I think I have any iron in here. Hmm. Let me just transfer like most of this stuff for a second so I can think. What's that? Oh, small whirlwind potion. Okay. There we go. Move all of those things. Do I need any more hammered copper seals? I don't know which ones I had put seals on. I kind of forgot. What's the next one after that? Engraved copper seal. How many do I need? If you look at J, you can tell. Oh. Oh, I haven't, I've barely put any. Oh, so I only have two of them and I need what looks like four. Okay. I barely have played this, it's kind of embarrassing. I'm still working on it. <laughs> Ducky, thanks for the 33 months. It's good to see you. And Foba and Amy, thank you for the subs. Oh my goodness. This game is a lot. Yeah, I. it seems like it. It's kind of cool. Oh, maybe I had them in there already and I didn't realize. Oh. Well, now I have four. Okay. Well, I need to make engraved copper seals next. So... We'll see what we can do. And iron seals, oh my. Is this like a better version of Stardew Valley? No, I don't know if I would call it that. I, I think it's hard to um, compare them in that way. I love Stardew Valley. I always have, I always will. It's, it's hard to beat Stardew Valley for me, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Um, but I, uh, I really, I don't know. It's, it's similar to Stardew Valley, but it has some different aspects. And it's, I guess, better in some ways, maybe worse than others. It's doing a lot to be different than Stardew, though. But still appealed to a similar audience. And at its core, it's a similar sort of game, so. And Stardew is so much cheaper. <laughs> so it's hard to beat that, isn't it? It's hard to beat the price of Stardew Valley. I like how it's kind of magical. The dates are so cute. I saw you say that, Brew. I'm curious for when I get to date someone. Oh my god, look at how many seals you need. Jeez. You can date them all? Ooh. Interesting. Thought it said sad crafting station? No, it just says seal crafting station. Hello everyone and welcome to my sad crafting station. I can make three of those. I'll bring them to the mines today, probably. Or maybe tomorrow, I don't know. 
Maybe I'll prepare all those too. Better for a 10 year old than Stardew though. Ooh, I don't know. I think this is, this game has a lot so far. I think Stardew Valley um, has some more requirement for like the wiki and like there's some more to learn. I think that Stardew might be a little bit harder in that way. So I don't think that either is like inappropriate for a 10 year old, like as in it would be bad for them to play because they're like age appropriate in like game content, I guess. But um, I think that like a playability, this might be easier for a 10 year old to play, but I haven't gotten that far into it yet. That's my initial assumption though. It seems a little bit more forgiving though. Like sort of like how when I died in the mines, nothing happened to me. <laughs> it just sent me straight home. <laughs> um, so that might be, that might be a little bit better for a little one. That's my gut reaction at least. Um, okay. Oh my God, I'm trapped. Transfer stack. <gasps> Shella, hello. How is your stream? I'm gaming. <laughs> I am not that far in this game yet, so no judgment, okay? No judgment. I really have not gotten that far. Um, I'm still very slowly learning and playing, but I hope you had a fun stream. Were you playing this game or what today? Tell us, tell us. What have you been up to? I'm lost, I should have come up here. I'm gonna come this way. Oh, and look, you can jump off cliffs and nothing bad happens to you. Oh my, I don't think I should have done that. <gasps> oh, that was easy. Okay. <laughs> anyway, my math actually 35 months. Um, yeah, the customization in Fae Farm is pretty good. Um, it has a uh, pronoun selection choices and it has they, them as a default, which is pretty cool. Hello, friend. I am here to redeem a quest. The champ is back. There's more technique to fighting than just hitting stuff, but that's a lesson for later. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> okay, um, I don't have the ability to get my iron ax yet, so I don't really shouldn't bother with that just yet. Maybe I will go talk to Jeremiah though, because I've been meaning to do that and I haven't done it yet. Ooh. Let me get this. That's how you find like little recipes. Decorative bucket! Oops, that's not the right thing. Sorry, everyone. I <laughs> tried to use my, <laughs> I tried to use my net on the thorns. That was embarrassing. <laughs> oops. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. <laughs> Shella with the 44 months. Hi, I'm here. You can start stream now. <laughs> okay, Shella, I'm just now going live. Don't worry. Love the night thorns. Yeah, right? Same thing. And we just started. We just got here. Thanks for waiting. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> really, I'm actually 27 months. I really appreciate that. Okay. Um, come up here. Yeah, Tora for sure. I think that it would be fun if there were some upgrades to the amount of dialogue that the NPCs had. That's probably something that's gonna get expanded upon eventually and just hasn't really been yet. Sorry, just killing some night thorns. Don't mind me, just killing some night thorns again. Oh, hello. Hey, fence! Look at all these creatures. Isn't that so cute? Hey, bundle! Coco Shag Rug. Hello, buddy. Have you spoken with the mayor yet? She works really hard to take care of the town. Yeah, I have. Oh my god, you guys, I gotta show you something. Wait, hold on. Oh my goodness, you're like gonna love this. Wait. Okay, okay, you're gonna love this. Hold on, I almost forgot. <laughs> I got sent, oh, I dropped it. I got sent a box from Faye Farm. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to show you on stream yet, but they sent me this little thing. Look, 
And in the little thing, wait, is that how you open it? Yeah. Look, in the little thing, it's got this little thing, and it's got a message in a bottle that has like a note from the developers. Isn't that so cute? And look at the little box. I know, right? Isn't that so adorable? I was very excited about that. I didn't know they were gonna send me that, and then it appeared. <laughs> it's so cute. How do I show it? Oh, like, I haven't played Fae Farm since it came, Lena. So that's how I forgot to show it, is just I hadn't played Fae Farm since it got here. <laughs> um, it wasn't here when I did this, the first Fae Farm stream a couple weeks ago. Have they been experimenting with soil beds and fertilizers? No. Different produce is only available through certain seasons. Okay, what do you think would happen if you'd always have spring soil? Oh. Oh, then I could grow spring produce all year round. I can have fertilizers. Okay, place one bounteous fertilizer on crops. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. That's like a nice gift to be honest. Ooh. Um. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, don't mind me diving around. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've made it home. <laughs> um, what should I put that on? Can I use it on any crop or does it have to be on? Quests. Pin this. Besties, I don't even know how to use it. Maybe I need to plant something new for it to work. Anyone have any advice? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Garden gnome, can you tell you? You have to buy it? I thought he said he gave it to me. Didn't he say, here, I'll give you one to get you started? Did he lie? Because if so, that's like actually messed up. Fertilizer. I was under the impression I was handed some. But maybe I was lied to. I gotta buy it. Wow, I thought he gave me one. He sucks. Buy and sell. From where? Oh, can I buy an animal from you? No, not yet. Oh, they're too expensive. I don't have a barn. Should I get another chicken? No, I shouldn't. Stop, Kayla, stop. Okay, well, the crop stall's probably not even open right now. Hello. Good to see you. Bye. <laughs> First time of my stream. Hey, welcome in. It's good to see you. I'm glad you made it. And Henderson and Till, thank you for the subs, too. Come this way. Yeah, Brew, I figure the barn unlock is probably coming soon. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, open shop. Gives a chance every night to increase crop yields. Zippy fertilizer increases the crop's growth by a day. This is a magic swap fertilizer. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh wait, let me, the, the stalls close at 10. That's kind of iconic. Why are they open so late? <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad, but like, <laughs> I feel like it's unnecessary. How nice of them. That honestly like really benefits me. Okay. Return to Jeremiah for rewards. You know, Brooke, I did switch the stream category. What you have to do is refresh for it to update on your end what you're seeing. But I did, I did switch the category that I'm streaming to. So I'm not still streaming to the Sims category. Um, if you haven't refreshed the stream yet, it just won't show it. 
common moth. I'll go back to Jeremiah for rewards. Just join weird. Oh, really? That's weird. It's right on my end, so I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, hello. When spring comes, I feel like the muses are decorating the world with blossoms. Okay. I just wanted to redeem the quest. I reckon you'll be getting a lot more out of your farm now that you have got the hang of fertilizers and soils. Yep, thank you. Honestly, I really appreciate it. Oh, look! Worker bee, firefly. Okay. Okay. Start grabbing a few of these things. Chop this too. Really, Brew? I don't know who I'm gonna try and romance yet. I haven't really thought about it yet. Not fully decided at the moment. I already got all of those. Okay, tomorrow we can try and go to the mines then, yeah? That'll be good. Um, I'll probably keep food on me. Um, I keep realizing that you need a lot of food. So, however much we can keep on us is probably for the best. Okay, I'm gonna, like, dig up some of this stuff, too, quickly. I don't know. Mulch! Alright. Can I chop that yet? I can! Yay! Okay. <laughs> oh, we can probably turn slow mode off now that I think about it. We're only playing Fae Farm. Slightly different vibe than building in The Sims 4, I must say. <laughs> A little bit easier. Oh my god, calm down. Lots of drama in this area, it seems. Go away. Go away. It's getting late, time to go home. No. No. Yeah, it's cool how you don't have to switch tools. Like, I don't need to switch between the shovel and, like, the everything else. It, like, switches to an axe on its own and to a shovel on its own. I have to switch between, like, my magic staff and stuff. Um, but I don't need to switch between the regular, everyday crafty type of tools, which is pretty good. It's kind of helpful. All right. Oh wait, no, I wanna get some more of that mulch. Can I even get to it? Right there, no. Boo, oh well. Yeah, you have to upgrade tools. Um, it's bedtime, it's two in the morning, lies. Not if I can help it, okay. <laughs> okay. Done reviewing. Cool. Upgrade to at least an iron pickaxe from Cinder. Well, too bad, Cinder, I can't do it yet. I'm gonna try and get iron for you today, though. <gasps> Yay! I didn't mean to pick that, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, that was full. Huh. I might need to go and, um, buy some more seeds for us. If I turn these things into food, they sell for more money, yes? <gasps> okay, so should I leave those in hopes that they breed? That's my first cauliflower. All right, so we're gonna try and leave those flowers there and get them to breed. That's Rosalind's quest. Thank 
Thank you. Very lovely. Getting this all watered. You haven't upgraded your tools yet, really, Brew? I went, I upgraded them straight away with the copper stuff, like immediately. It told me to upgrade one of them, so I was like, I'll just upgrade them all, I guess. Um, prepare all of that. Prepare all of that, too. We'll try and get some money off of it. You accidentally picked your flowers when watering? Oh no. Oh no. But you have the beverage station? I have beverage station too. I like it. Um, should I buy more? I don't know. Fertilizer? Oops. Well, you have the cutting station? Okay, I don't. Maybe I should use the magic fertilizer. What if I got like nine of them and just saw what happened with it? That seems like I probably just wasted a lot of money, but <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> I don't know, Crimson, thanks for the resub. That sounds like fun to me. Cauliflower seeds, okay. Oh, I used my magic fertilizer on that when I didn't mean to. I wanted to use it on this. Oh, my heart is broken. Oh well. Let's go to the mines. <laughs> use it on all of my crops? Oh, should I go buy more? I'm scared. I'm going to the mines. I'm going to the mines. Reminds you of My Sims a bit. I think that too about this game. I think it kind of has My Sims vibes a little bit as well. And I like that because My Sims was my first ever Sims game. I guess I can buy more of the fertilizer on my way back and we can just go to the mines for now. Okay, I need to go down to floor four. I need to unlock the next door. That's our step one. Okay. Um, coal, we'll get some more copper. The mines do get a bit intense, really far down. That kind of excites me, to be honest. Oh my God, calm down, little guy. Lots of drama. Sorry. Next. <laughs> Fey Realm Mines or something else? Oh, really? That's kind of exciting. Okay. Off we go. <laughs> Off we go. So those are kind of like the elevator from Stardew Valley. Those of you that are familiar. These are the baby mines though. I'm not that far into them yet. So no judgment. Would I recommend this game for someone who's bad at combat? You know, I haven't, um, I obviously haven't gotten that far into it yet. So I don't know what the combat looks like high up, but like, I mean, the early stuff's not bad. <laughs> I think that this game is, like people were saying earlier, we describe it as being very forgiving. Because I, I think that it's um, not so bad for that sort of thing. Like it's uh, decently easy to get into. It's not like a combat heavy game. At least it seems that way to me. All right. There is magic for the enemies. Enemies are easy to avoid too. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. 
Speaking of enemies, I have to kill this one because I need to grab these little guys. I need the green stuff to make more of the seals. Die! 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 Took me long enough, jeez. Do I think that there are a lot of farming sims? Oh yeah. They're all over the place, but I like to farm. So I'm not complaining. I have great fun farming. Serious. Oh! Thank you. Okay. Hi, Tara! 50 months! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, that is a very long time! Stay away from me! Lots of grumpy, grumpy boxes in this level. Would it run alright on Switch? I haven't played on Switch yet! How many of you all in chat play this game on Switch? I am curious to know. Because I feel like it's probably frequently. A lot of people probably have it on Switch, basically. Okay. Prefer it for running around mostly? That makes sense. Yeah, I don't play a lot of games on my Switch these days. I'm very much more of a PC gamer, so I would probably buy like most things on my PC over my Switch. But I know that's not exactly like the most common um, mentality, so. Okay. I do have this, right? That's my last one. Door unlocked. I need to go make the next one. Graphics aren't as crisp on Switch. That makes sense to me. That's kind of a Switch limitation, huh, these days? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go and grab this. Yeah, it's also more expensive on Switch because they make you buy the, um, the, like, deluxe version, huh? So you have to pay a little bit more money, a little bit, as in $20 more on Switch, which is a major disappointment, so... That's something to consider also. It's more expensive. But you know what you prefer and, like, where you play most of your games. Some people, like, only play games on Switch, so why would you buy this on PC? If you wouldn't use it, then it's, like, extra not worth the money. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look at the little angry anchor! That's fun. Oh, I need all this iron so bad. This is so good. Oh my god, leave me alone! I have low health because of you! I should eat something. <laughs> oh, I think I just died. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I didn't get my iron. That's so cool. <sighs> oh, that's not gonna help my health at all. Oh. Well, yikes. I guess we could go back and start working on trying to um, craft more seals then. We need to get some health potions, huh? I don't have any potions. I've not used any potions. I've not really had to use them yet until now. And now I'm dead, so I need them. Okay. <laughs> oh well. Hey zombie, thanks for the four months, by the way. Get some clay and some sand. You don't have a lot. Buy them from Vera? Yeah. We'll get some tomorrow, because I feel like today we could probably just work on trying to craft more of that stuff to go to the next levels. 
so that'll be a good step. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oops, sorry. I fell off the edge. Oh. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. It's fine. It's fine. All right, I'm gonna sell this. I have a plain copper seal. We talked about maybe buying a handful more. Maybe I'll get like two more of those. Yes. What do you have? I have all this money. I could probably buy myself some more stuff. I should probably stop though. I don't know if this is a good idea. Spending money on clothes and things like Charles, not goodbye. Stop. I could get some little books. Bookshelf wallpaper, spectacles. Hi, Emily. Scroll storage. Look how many cute wallpapers they have. Oh, okay, we'll go to Vera tomorrow and buy um, stuff like that. We need to get potions, I mean. Um, I need, don't I need one more of the engraved copper seal? And then I need a handful of probably four iron seals, yes. Shall I start there? For tomorrow. We know that we've got, yeah, I need an engraved copper seal and then these are all iron seals. Okay, that'll be good for tomorrow. All right. Shall I keep destroying, I guess? Um, I played the Star Path a little bit, Mycroft, um, last weekend. I was playing a little bit of Dreamlight Valley in the morning, and then I played a little bit of Palea, and then I found out they were gonna put Pogi down, so, <laughs> and then I stopped playing games. <laughs> but I played a little bit of the Star Path last weekend in Dreamlight Valley. Not live, but, um, off stream. It's been a rough week for me, so I haven't been playing a lot of games. <laughs> I have been reading a lot, which is good. So, okay. Um, I think, what, tell me? Oh, nothing that exciting. I haven't read your recommendations. The Book of the Month Club book that I got this month was You Again, and I really didn't like it. <laughs> so, it was fine. I've read, I've read better books books, and I've also read worse books, but I didn't like it. I found the character to be sort of insufferable. Um, so I didn't like it very much. Uh, <laughs> and then um, I also started reading another Allie Hazelwood book. What's it about? Oh, it's like a romance book, but it's about this like really sort of mean, grumpy chef guy. And I don't like him. But I like Allie Hazelwood, so. I read, um, I read Love Theoretically a couple weeks ago, and I started reading um, The Love Hypothesis yesterday, so. I like her books, but. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's my life update. I really liked um, The Love Hypothesis, so. I'd recommend that one. <laughs> I've been reading a whole bunch of uh, silly little romance books recently. <laughs> I thought I crafted these. Oh, maybe I, oh, I, they're all done. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see. Put away, put away, put away, put away. I love a good silly little romance book. It's just fun, you know? Anyway, <laughs> shall I?
Shall we go to bed, maybe? I'm bored. I'll go to tomorrow. Not a huge fan of romance books. Yeah, I get that. I find them fun sometimes. Oh, maybe I do have- I have an iced tea. Good. Do you think that I could make... I don't have any oak lumber. Oh well. Sleep. Love them when you're highly stressed. Yeah, romance books are easy for- they're like- it's good for a nice easy read, you know? At least for me. Not everyone likes that kind of thing, but... <laughs> I don't know. Let's water all of these guys. Okay, I see... We're looking a little bit different. It seems, maybe? I don't know. Interesting. Like to sob your eyes out at the end of books? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Okay. Um, I don't talk a lot about the books that I read online because I get embarrassed. I'm dead serious. It makes, it makes me feel a little embarrassed to talk about what books I'm reading. No! 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 Well, I'm picking them both then. Oh my goodness. Yeah, especially if they're not family friendly. Exactly, Bru. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Okay. Um. Ah! Oh, that was like the multiplayer stuff. I haven't done that yet. Okay, where's Vera? Besties, I don't remember what I need to be doing. <laughs> no, I haven't read any Colleen Hoover books, uh, Elon. I tried to read one a few weeks ago, but then my cat started trying to eat it. So then I stopped and started reading on my Kindle again. I would still like to read it because I bought it and also I wanna know what everyone talks about so much. I don't care if it's bad. I still would like to read it. I read all kinds of bad books, but I stopped reading it because my cats were eating it. So it sort of inconvenienced me and I had to read on my Kindle again. I'm not exaggerating, the kittens like to chew on my books. I'm in the wrong spot. I was like totally not following the map. What am I doing? Oh, it's just running. You don't like her as a person, so you just don't? That makes sense. I don't really mind about reading bad books sometimes though. And I'll read things for people I don't like either. <laughs> I don't know, especially if I already have it. Small potion of healing. How many of them do you think I need? I don't have that much. Two, maybe? I don't know. But everyone, Colleen Hoover gets talked about so much and I still haven't read any of her books, so. Hmm. I don't know. Do I have a Kindle? Yeah, I do have a Kindle, Emma. I like my Kindle a lot. It's nice to be able to read things, um, like, easily on the go without having to carry my whole book around. Like, um, when we went on the, a little family trip a couple months ago, I brought my Kindle. And this way I can have like multiple books with me. Cause I, I read like a handful of books that week. Um, and obviously I was like traveling. So I didn't want to have to <laughs> bring them all. <laughs> um, so it was nice to have the Kindle for that reason. Plus you can read in the dark. So that's good too. Yeah, I like that. Bad books are kind of fun sometimes. Exactly! I watch all kinds of bad movies. May as well read a bad book. Read Course of Thorns and Roses. I have those books. I'm gonna read them. I'm busy reading other things first. I have the physical books though. And like I said, I'm in a serious Kindle era right now because my cats eat physical books. So they'll literally walk up to me and start chewing. And I would really prefer for them to not do that on my nice new books. So I can't read them until the kittens stop chewing my books. <laughs> Wish I was kidding, but <laughs> we're, it's a big problem for me right now. 
<laughs> it's very limiting. <laughs> so. They don't eat eat them, but they do try and chew on the edges. And I don't want them to. So. Teeth marks add character. Right, yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> <sighs> they totally chewed up my bookmark the other day. I didn't notice that they had taken- This is- well, it was when I was trying to read Colleen Hoover. Um, I didn't make it very far. <laughs> because, uh, I, like, set the book down for a second to do something, I forget what, but I had it on the floor. And they were in there, and they took the bookmark out of the book. Completely chewed up the bookmark. And then started trying to chew on the book. And then I said, you know what? <laughs> Maybe we should read on my Kindle. <laughs> so. They literally removed the bookmark from the book. They pulled it out. Which is actually really impressive, to be honest. So. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Telling me not to read Colleen Hoover in my presence, or in their presence? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Cats are so funny. It's so fun for me to have kittens in the house because I'm like, I'm so used to Snap, who is like genuinely such an angel of a cat. Like she just is not like that because she's older. So she doesn't really do these things anymore. So it's really funny for me to have kittens in the house and have like this stuff going on. <laughs> All right, let's go next level. Hold to activate. I like this little anchor. It's very dramatic. Ah! There we go. There we go. So much with your kitten with them eating your books. That's so funny. Yeah. I get it. I do. I love cats. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I talk about cats like literally constantly on stream. It, they've kind of taken over my like entire life right now. So I'm sorry it's all I like, talk about. <laughs> it's really, uh, my life is revolving around them. So. Die. There we go. People like to talk about cats. It's a good topic. <laughs> Can't go wrong. <laughs> Short potato, Max. Thank you both for the subs, by the way. You don't have cats, they have you. That's true. That is very, very, very true. <laughs> Will I ever play Paleo on stream? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't really played it very much yet. I'm not kidding when I say I played it for like 10 to 20 minutes last weekend and then, um, I got some really horrible news, so I stopped playing. <laughs> I haven't played it much yet. I think that I would like it if I played it, but I haven't played it much yet, so I'm not ready yet. Okay. Okay. Come here. I need the next level. This sucks. I'm playing on PC right now, Gummy Bears. I am not playing on Switch. I drank my iced tea. I wish there was a faster way to consume this stuff. <laughs> Ugh. There we go. Delete. Well, it's a lot easier to break these rocks than some of the, like, rocks, the iron rocks that I've been hitting. Huh. Oh, I didn't stream it. I played it, I played it off stream last weekend for a little bit. I didn't stream it. I probably will eventually. There's too many games that I want to stream and not enough time. Not enough time.
Oh my god, there's nothing. Nothing. Faye Farm or Sims 4? Are you asking which one I prefer? Well, I'm always gonna tell you The Sims 4. <laughs> Faye Farm is a fun game, but... Or if you're asking, I, I did stream The Sims 4 earlier, then I switched over to Faye Farm for like the second half of the stream. So. Oh my god, this sucks. I can't get, find the next level. Uh-oh. Your willpower was weak, so you ended up with the Ursula pack on Dreamlight Valley. Oh my goodness. Door is open. The door was open? Why did I think it wasn't? Did I open it because I placed the thingy? Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. I was sat there looking for the door. I'm so not smart. Oh well. This is gonna open the door, isn't it? What is wrong with you, Kayla? You're talking and distracting yourself and you don't even know what you're doing. Oh. Get it together. No, Riddle, I have no idea when Dreamlight Valley is gonna be free. They're not really talking about that, are they? Um, I don't know. I guess we will find out eventually. <laughs> It's not really news about that yet. I'm only gonna hit the iron. Um, Modern, I played Fae Farm for a couple hours last week. Um, maybe the week before last week. I don't know. The past few weeks have been kind of a blur for me. Stay away! I will kill you if I must. Scary anchor. Okay. Die. I, my guess, they said previously it would be by the end of the year, so my guess would be like around the holidays, I don't know, but we'll see. They haven't confirmed anything yet. We always talk about this on stream when people ask, but they're sort of in a tough situation with that because obviously they don't want to tell you when it's going to be free until the absolute last minute because they still want you to buy it. So they're not gonna be like, yes, it's gonna go free on this day six months from now because they want you to keep buying it for the next six months, which is not good for you, but <laughs> it's good for them. So that's why they're doing that. So anyway, my assumption is that it'll come out around then when they're probably gonna have a multiplayer update around the end of the year and have it at the same time, so. You mean Disney cares about money? I mean, Everyone does. They're not making it for fun, are they? So. It's not really a pleasant thought, but that's just the way it works, so. <laughs> Clearly by the cost of their in-game content, they're trying to get as much money out of you as possible. It's game loft as well, this. They want to be paid. Okay, I'm trying to get all this iron. I, I personally, I know that um, people are mad that it's not free yet or that they're mad that they bought it and it's not free and it's a weird model to have it be early access uh, and be paid when it's in early access, but I've, I don't know, I've gotten so many good, fun hours of gameplay out of Dreamlight Valley that, did I not put the... I've gotten so many good, fun hours of gameplay out of Dreamlight Valley that like, for me, I, I really know that I've gotten my money's worth. Oh, I need to upgrade my pickaxe to open this door. Oh, really? So I can't go yet? Okay. Let's find out for sure. It's this quest, okay. Well, I have enough iron now, so I can do that actually. Oh, I can do that. Oh, it literally says complete Cleo's magical tool quest. Yeah. Well, while I'm here, I will grab the rest of this iron. All right. How much iron do I have? That is the question. Oh, 58. Oh, good. Good. Hannah, are you asking me to pick between my cats? 
and like who I love the most. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm not going to do that. That's really mean. <laughs> I love them all. Okay, up, up, up. Let's try and make some more iron ore then. You have a favorite? Hope, that's like so messed up. What is wrong with you? Oh, out of your cats? You have a favorite out of your cats? Okay, that's kind of messed up, but whatever. Um, should I make like, maybe just two for now? Madison also has a favorite and it's the other one, so it's fair. Okay, well, are you, are you that cat's favorite? Oh, it is getting dark and stormy outside. Is your favorite cat, are you their favorite person? Yes, oh good. Will you tell us which one it is? I mean, I don't think it's wrong of me. Like, Snap is my best friend and has been for literally my entire life. So I don't think it's uh, wrong of me to say that she's my best friend. You love them equally, but maybe loves you the most. I see. I see. I get it. Snappy loves me more than the kittens do, for sure. We're getting there. But... I need 10 iron total to upgrade the tools. Well, I'm, do I need to upgrade them all right now? I was just gonna go upgrade two of them, or just the... I guess I won't do it now. Maybe I'll make a couple more. Hi, glue on! How are you? Good, I hope. Oh, I was gonna sell some of this stuff. Maybe I will go do that now. I am going fantastic, Luan. I get to play Faye Farm, so I'm having a great time. <laughs> I hope you've been doing well. Thank you for the resub. 42 months. Oh my goodness. That is wild. Okay. I'm gonna make so much money off of this, I hope. Maybe. That's good. Do you think I can, no, I won't upgrade anything right now. I need to stop. I need to stop. I'm being so silly right now. What am I thinking, trying to go upgrade stuff? Should you play Dreamlight Valley or Palea? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. What have you been playing most recently? Play the other one. <laughs> okay. Let's sleep. I'll just go to bed early. Get it over with. Oh, <gasps> 566. Okay. I need to go make my get my iron pickaxe now. <gasps> it's raining. Oh, fun. I don't think it's rained yet. For me. So that's cool. Kind of excited about that actually. Um, I guess we shall go and upgrade this then. Dreamlight has Mickey. Yeah, no offense, but for me, Dreamlight Valley having Mickey is actually a downside. <laughs> I mean it, I don't know about that. <laughs> Mickey Mouse kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> I'm not sure about that guy. Hello, I would like to open your shop because I want to upgrade my pickaxe. Use an iron pickaxe's magical ability. Okay. I can do that. You live near Walt Disney World so you get to see Mickey whenever? That's true, I could see Mickey whenever if I really wanted to. But I don't, because he scares me. I joke, I have a Disney annual pass. <laughs> I went to Disney over the weekend. <laughs> my parents bought, um, I have an annual pass, but my parents bought like one of their summer 
four ticket Florida resident deals. Um, so we went to Disney four times with my parents over the summer and they used their last ticket yesterday. Oh my God, leave me alone. Oh, I have the wrong thing, that's why. So we went to Hollywood Studios. I personally don't like Hollywood Studios. There's not enough to do. Small whirlwind potion. Oh, look! That's new, I don't have that yet. Very exciting. Rough aquamarine. Cool. Cool. Um. Excellent. All right, you wish you lived closer to Disney? It's like several countries away. Oh yeah, that's not far at all. <laughs> that's not far at all. Yeah, Magic's, I think that Hollywood Studios has some good stuff. It's just, um, it's tough because I think that it could use, it needs more like filler things. All the stuff at Hollywood Studios has way too long of a, a wait. And there's like, there's too many like big ticket things there for it to be, I don't know. They just need more stuff, basically. I like the rides. Okay, here's a fun question. How do I use the iron pickaxe's magical ability? What does it mean? Use F. Oh! Oh. Well, that's fun. My life just got better. That was really dramatic, but... Yeah, it's using my... Mana, huh? So cool. Okay. Die. Do I need to finish the quest to go to the next level? Like, should I return to Cleo for the rewards right now? I think I have to complete the quest. Let's go do it now. See what we can do. All right, Cleo. If you were Cleo, where would you be right now? <laughs> Frida. Cleo. Okay. Okay. Hey, Chris. Thank you for the resub. Thank you so much, by the way. 57 months. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, I was looking at my mods chat and I wasn't, oh, I'm dead. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, the NPCs can move around a little bit cause they can, um, they can switch where they're standing and stuff, right? They'll move around. Oh, I can leave the door from any level and go outside. Oh, okay, good. I didn't know if I had to go to the front or to the, the bottom or not like you do in Stardew Valley. <laughs> I like swimming in this game, it's kind of fun. Cleo! Howdy there, friend. Exploring isn't always about being the first one to discover something. It's about discovering who you are. Wow. Isn't magic fun? Not to mention time saving when, it's, when it isn't causing natural disasters and threatening our very way of life. <laughs> Seems to me you're all set to go a bit deeper into those minds. You're ready, I can see it in your eyes. That spark of adventure that can ignite a wildfire of something. Okay. Here's a secret key to the door on the 15th floor. Okay. Reach level 25 of saltwater mines. I can do that. I'm going. Ooh, wooden picket fence. Whee! Ooh! Split log fence. Oh! 
beige woven rug. I love finding recipes. That's so fun. All right, I gotta be honest with you. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. That is not my magical staff. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Tropical plant! Oh, you can make drinks to help you with being wet. I didn't know that, um, that it's a bad thing. I guess I see the little wet sign. Does my character not like being wet? You don't like standing outside in the rain? What's the problem? <laughs> What's the problem with the stuff being just soaked? Yay! We're in. Okay. I have this one too. That's my last iron seal. So we need to get some more stuff for the next time we come into the mines. That's fine. Oh, if you do things that take energy in the rain, it depletes faster. That's kind of a cool mechanic. I like that. Yeah, I'm streaming tomorrow, Bear. We'll play some Sims tomorrow. Um, I think that there's gonna be a Sims update tomorrow before the stuff pack comes out on Thursday, so. We will indeed be here tomorrow. That is the plan. Looking forward to it. We're gonna play Not So Berry in The Sims 4, I think, and then whatever the update has, we'll check it out. I did get it, it was kind of funny, Hope. You said, haha, I think seals would be near the water. And then I said, haha, yeah, cause seals? <laughs> yeah. That was really good. Haha. <laughs> All right, we'll go to the next level. Actually said nothing. Well, I thought it. I didn't say anything, but I thought it. So. <gasps> it's a cannon! Whoa! Ah! That can't be good. Oh, it can't be good. Oh my god, it can't be good. Whoa. Oh, sorry, it's a cannot, is the pop-up I just got. Whoa! This level's kind of wild. <laughs> huh. Okay, I'll try and get as many of these blue things as I can, because I'm gonna need them. Oh, KB, I probably won't be live for too, too much longer anyway, so don't feel bad if you have to leave the stream. You won't miss out on too, too much, probably. Oh god, stay away. Oh god, stay away. Stay away. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Ah! I got it. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to get as many materials as I can. Love the music? Yeah, it's kind of good vibes, isn't it? I kind of like it. Run, 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 run. Okay. Whew. Yeah, this is the one that I need the hammered iron thing for. I like these little guys. They're kind of cute. Slipping around. All slippy and slidey. Um, Hannah, I've only played Fae Farm a couple times. This is actually my second time playing this game. Um, I've probably played it for like f maybe five or so hours in total now. So not that long, to be completely honest. Because I've played for like an hour or so off stream and then like two hours on stream last time and now like two hours today, <laughs> hour and a half today, I don't know. Exactly, I haven't played too much though. I have not for lack of wanting to. <laughs> I just didn't really have time, so. It's kind of fun though. 
I've been enjoying it. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. <laughs> I might actually go back soon. Um, we need to go and craft some more of these things. How many of those blue things do I have? 41? I bet 41 is enough to be able to make the next things that we need, right? I would hope so. Oh my god, are you playing with bubbles? Oh, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I almost choked. <laughs> Saying that, my throat was like, <clears throat> sorry. Yeah, I'll need four of them, but I think that I should have enough if I've got 50 of those things. It's eight gems for each seal. Okay. Okay. I did it again. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> Just fall down, it's fine. I keep looking over at my mods chat while I'm running, which is probably really dangerous and not smart. Because, you know, then I jump off cliffs. <laughs> Which no one wants, that's not good. <laughs> okay. Up. Um, yeah, this is what I need four of. I need iron ones first. Craft those. I'll probably craft some more of these as well. Um, maybe just two more. I guess while we're doing that, I could go upgrade our next... It's not urgent focus on the game? I know it's not urgent, I was just reading it. I like to stay up to date, you know? What's the tea in the mods chat? Oh, it's nothing, it's just... <sighs> random things. So-and-so appealed the ban, so-and-so got banned for this. I just like to see what's going on. It's not a big deal. Okay, what do you think I should upgrade next? I have my pickaxe, obviously, first, but what should I do next? It is 500 gold, but probably my axe. That was my first guess. Okay, I have an iron axe. More tools. All right, back up we go. Back to the house. Watering can? You know, I don't really feel like I need my watering can that much. At least up to be upgraded as fast, because I can just do it on my own, you know? So I'm not that worried about it. Okay, craft those. Collect. We have two left. I'll wait until I can get that started. Once you upgrade to iron, you can get magic with it. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, what Halloween name did you pick last year, Hope? Maybe I just don't remember. Oh, Grimsy! Oh, that was good. Oh, I'll change my name to that right now. Happy Halloween. <laughs> I can't see remote enabled. Grimsy. Oh, it's all caps, no! That's not right. Okay, I switched it. That's better, I'm Grimsy. That's my new server nickname. Okay. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Yay, okay, let's craft four of these hammered iron seals. And then we could probably go to bed. This whole time you've been watching or listening to the stream and not watching and you thought that I meant literal seals like the animal. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey Swifty, thank you for the resub by the way. Thank you so much. Okay, 
Oh, zero simoleons today. Simoleons! I meant gold. I meant gold, I meant gold. That's so embarrassing. Halloween in September? Yeah, but it's the end of September. So come on, that's fine. All right, let me water these little guys. That'll be good. Oh, they grew all the way. Yes. Well, I don't have anything that I can... I got radishes. That's kind of exciting. Those are new. What did that become? Ooh. Something interesting. Okay. Are these ready yet? I don't know. Yeah, you might have noticed all of my mods have changed their nicknames in the server to sort of Halloween themed things. <laughs> Okay, I need to grab some more seeds and then I don't know what next. Maybe I'll get like nine more of these. Oh wait, no, it's like I need six more of these, right? I'll just start there. Should I sell anything? I'll be good. Oh, Barney's, we can link the chat, link the server in the chat for you if you'd like to join. Don't feel like you have to, but we have fun over there, so if you'd like to join the server, you are obviously welcome. Oh, I did need nine. Why didn't I think they were all ready? Oh, well, that's horrible. Okay, I'm gonna buy more on the way out to the mines, and then I'll do the rest tomorrow. Hope just changed her Discord name to Goose Costume instead of Goose Kingdom. Happy Halloween. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. It's really good. Okay. You're gonna suggest Ghost Kingdom, but also good? Oh, Ghost Kingdom is fun. That's cute. Shella called it mid. Shella, that's actually really mean. Shella's is Shellatin, which is kind of good. Oh, I can make a gardening bench on my own farm so I can make my own seeds. That'll be good. I probably should do that. Hope came up with Shellatin. Okay. Well, Hope's good then. And no one else. More iron. When am I streaming next? I'll be live tomorrow. I stream, um, I stream every day, except for Sundays, usually. Boom. Whoa, relax. Okay. I'm gonna grab all these little blue things while I'm here. They seem quite nice and like the kind of thing I'd want to collect, so I will. All right. Run! Run! Okay. There are cannons, yeah. <laughs> the creatures in this game are kind of scary. Look at these guys. Okay. Ah! Stay away from me! Ah! This game's called Fay Farm Eve. It's pretty fun. I really have been enjoying it. Okay. I'm just gonna run 
past these so I can get to the next ones. You have a name for Dan? Oh, really? What's your idea? I can switch it. Dantum like phantom? Ooh. That's kind of fun. Stay away from me! I don't like these little guys. Danny phantom! <laughs> there you go. Just stay down! Oh my goodness, relax. Let me kill you. So dramatic. Hope you're good at this uh, server nickname thing. It's kind of fun. Let me grab this. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Oh, it got me. I don't like you. Next. I don't have the ones for this, obviously. That's okay, because we can get the next things. Polished topaz. It's my first topaz. Give Hope $5 and she'll make a server nickname for you? I'm sorry, I think $5 is a little pricey. That seems a little on the high end. How about $0? I honestly, Brew, I could maybe get to the end of the month. Oh, geez. All of you guys need to calm down. There's a lot of drama happening on this level right now, and I'm not here for it. Ah! It got me. I suck. Okay. Okay. So you say if I hold F, can get more than one thing at once. Yay! Oh. You think I crushed your dreams in spirit, Hope? Really? Wow. That's kind of dramatic, but... Okay. Oh, I didn't even get more than one. Neither did that. <laughs> Oops. Oops. I'm ignoring the mods right now. They're saying things that are stressing me out, so I'm just disregarding. In case you hadn't noticed. Ah! Leave me alone! Oh my god. Sheesh. We're unionizing, why is that stressful? No, no, it's, it's, um, I don't know. Whenever you guys get like a mind of your own, it kind of scares me. You know? Well, this is pretty good. I might be able to get to the next level. Unless I get killed. No? Ooh. Here we go. We're about to get to level 25 of the saltwater mines. That's exciting. I think we can get there today. Ah! Back away! I should probably use my potion of healing. Ah! Oh my god, I'm gonna die! Oh no. Well, that went poorly. And I actually can't get back to where I was. So that's no good. <sighs> okay. 
<laughs> well, you know what I can do is go and make um, those thingies. I should probably get off stream soonish anyway. Well, I should probably get off stream soonish. The doors are still open, you can run through. Oh, can I? Oh. Well, maybe I will then. Let's go back and do it again. You streamed until 10 p.m. with this dang game, really, Bru? That's funny. It's a fun game. I've been really, ah! I've been really enjoying it. All right. Okay, down to floor 20. And then we just run. Stay away! Leave me alone, 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 leave me alone. Next. Run, 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 run. We have plenty of time to get there today. This will be fine. Oh my. 23? It's your first live stream, Galaxy. Hey, thanks for coming by. I'm glad you could make it today. We have fun playing on live streams, I think. Run, 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 run. Okay, this is 24. Bye, Shella, have a good night. I think you tried the Tiki Cat tonight, Hope. That would be my pick, at least. Maybe she'll be brave and eat it tonight. Hopefully it works out. Hope has a quite dramatic cat that we're trying to convince to eat wet food. We've been trying, I say we, Hope has been trying many different things. <laughs> not me, I'm not actually involved. I just listen. Yay! Okay. Go to the depths of the last level of the mines. <gasps> wow! <gasps> Whoa! A visit? Yay! What a happy day! Hello! Oh, I didn't mean to press goodbye! Redeem quest. Redeem quest! Could it be a new friend finds their way to me? Well, I'm the sprite of tides and sea, a water sprite, the great Nepi. I don't always talk in rhyme. I've just been rehearsing my greeting since I haven't had a visitor in some time. That was the last one, I promise. Aww. Okay, whirlpools. Of course I knew about the whirlpools. I'm the one making them. Aren't they fun? Round and round they spin. They're destructive and have been stopping people from reaching Azoria? Oh no. <laughs> well, I can stop them, but it's going to take a lot of energy. I'm going to need to eat the biggest meal I've ever had. Can you get the ingredients for me? We can make a feast. It's been forever since I've had a meal with a friend. Steamed fish, sardine, diced roots, sand dollar, and coral. Oh, okay. Well, we've got much to do, it seems. We'll have to get to it. I put them in there. That's so cute. Wait till the little guy in the Fey run. They're so cute. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. I think I am probably gonna get off stream here in a second though. Um, and then I am going to, I think we'll play this game on Wednesday again. So I guess stay tuned for that because we'll be here on Wednesday playing a little bit of this. I know I didn't play it for that long today because I finished a Sims build first, but I will be here in the morning. We'll play some more Fae Farm, I think. Um, so let me grab this too, hello. Grab this too. Hello. The more we can befriend these people, the better, right? Sure. Was there two in a row there? Oh, I think it's glitched because they're standing on it. Huh. I will wake up at 6 a.m. on Wednesday. Okay, Brew, I'll see you there. <laughs> anyway, have a great rest of your night, everybody. Let me run back home um, and then 
we'll finish this off, I guess. Yeah, I know. I stream in the morning on Wednesdays, 9 a.m. Eastern Time usually, so not so convenient for some people. You were in Japan five years ago? Bru, are you actually kidding? That was five years ago? Oh my god. Well, that doesn't feel right. Why does that feel like it was yesterday? Oh my god. Okay, well, <laughs> on that note, we should probably go find someone to raid. I can't believe that. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe someone who is playing a beloved game like The Sims 4. <laughs> my friend Springs him. Steven is building an autumn themed student housing. And I kind of think that sounds like fun. So I might go over and say hi to Steven. Um, obviously stay tuned because tomorrow we think that the update is coming out for The Sims 4. So we'll play with that tomorrow. Um, which will be fun, and we'll play Not So Berry in The Sims 4 tomorrow as well. Uh, and then on Wednesday we'll play some more of Fae Farm, I think. So thank you again for hanging out. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Um, I love and miss you already. And go say hi to Steven for me, okay? Spring Sims is one of my longest friends, so you better be nice. <laughs> and I'll catch you later, okay? Okay. Good night, everyone. I'm gonna go see the cats now. Bye! <laughs>